Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our website, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! We are moving home! From Wednesday the 26th of January, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane are moving to Freeview Channel 73. We will still be on Sky Channel 670, YouTube and Facebook Live as normal. It's only the Freeview Channel that is changing. Keep your eyes peeled on our Facebook, Instagram and our email newsletter for more details. And if you watch us on Freeview, don't forget to tune into Freeview Channel 73 from 8am on Wednesday the 26th of January. In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Do you love sewing? Are you creative, inspiring, and love to share your skills and tips with others? We're excited to announce Sewing Street's Search for a Star 2022. We're looking for talented sewists of all genres. Dressmaking, quilting, homewares, and needlecraft. To join the Sewing Street family and share their sewing wisdom with our viewers. Live on air. To enter to become our next guest designer, all you have to do is send us a video submission of you introducing yourself and a brief demonstration of some sewing. Send your video to studio at sewingstreet.com with the subject, search for a sewing star. If you have any issues, email us and Director Elliot will be sure to help. Please keep your videos under three minutes in length and in landscape. For more information, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Good, Good luck. luck. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to Sewing Street. It's great to have your company. I'm Stuart Hillard and it was 10 degrees when we drove in this morning at six o'clock. So I reckon that's spring. <laughs> I've decided spring is here. It certainly put a spring in all of our steps today and I hope you're feeling fresh and ready for a wonderful morning here with us at Sewing Street. We've got a packed old morning but it always starts with our early bird and to this morning actually we've got two. Why not? Early birds. Let's grab those worms and see what we've got. <laughs> There they are. I think they were having some seed or some bread. Now, our early bird today uh, is a fantastic uh, piece of fabric, actually, which rather than being one fabric, is five fabrics or four fabrics in one. Now, let me just show. I need to kind of bring this together. There we go. Bring it back out. So what you're actually getting on this piece of fabric, this is a half meter cut and the normal price is 6 99 it's from Woodland Friends, uh, you're getting these five different prints. They're all, they're a lovely kind of blend of sort of modern, but quite traditional as well at the same time. So they blend well with your modern prints, but would also 
would work really well uh, in your more traditional uh, projects as well. Absolutely brilliant as a bit of a stash builder. Um, if you want a variety of fabrics at a really affordable price, this is 100% cotton, of course. Um, so it's going to wash well, sew well, perfect for patchwork, perfect for English paper piecing, foundation paper piecing, any regular kind of patchwork too, of course. Great for bag making, great for creating uh, any piece, really. We've never sold this before. Um, now, this is going to be cut off the bolt. Uh, to order. So for example, if you order three units, you'll get a meter and a half. Now that's particularly useful if you're thinking, well, these fabrics would be really good to have for things like um, binding quilts or borders for quilts, or even if you wanted to use it perhaps for dressmaking and you wanted to make a real feature of those panels. What I like about this one, some, some uh, fabrics that are kind of multi-fabric print like this have either what we call a bleed line or a cut line in between so they might have a little dashed line oh hello the birds are back I've got no more bread for you the seeds are gone they normally have like a sort of bleed line down here or a cut line but these don't now why that's useful for me well, for a start you're not wasting any fabric but also for me I look at this fabric and think okay so I can cut half square triangles okay down and actually really big really big half square triangles that are sort of pre pre-pieced okay i can also cut strips down here where i've actually got two fabrics that are already joined for me so if i wanted to create a double border i can do it without actually piecing fabrics together if i wanted to do four patches i could do that too lots and lots of these going into baskets lots of you multi-buying now that we haven't even dropped the price yet 6.99 for a half meter would be amazing <laughs> let's be honest it'd be terrific but our price today is 4.99 so for less than five pounds you're getting all those different fabrics all on one piece of fabric. The more you buy, the more you're saving. Now that's one of our options. And that features this gorgeous sunny yellow, a really useful gray print. It's a lovely warm gray, that lovely navy. Let me just go through the prints with you. So we've got this gorgeous, lovely bright yellow uh, triangle, triangular print. We've got this lovely kind of cool gray, super useful that one. This one to me has a little bit of a, I know it's not sashiko, but that would blend really well with sashiko. It's got that feel, hasn't it? Like sort of Japanese indigos. Uh, favorite, fa one of my favorite colors. My favorite color is rainbow, as you know, but we've got that gorgeous orange with the star print. And then we've got an aqua polka dot. Would blend really nicely with Tilda. Now a third of this stock is already jumped into baskets. I know we don't necessarily always put things in our baskets, do they? They somehow just leap in and find their way. Lovely message from Lisa in Lincolnshire. Morning, Stuart. I've just been enjoying watching you again on the Great British Sewing Bee. Oh, do you know, it's 10 years since we filmed that. 10 years. It's lovely to see how you've blossomed since then. Oh, Lisa, thank you so much. That's really lovely. Yes, I was like a little frightened rabbit, wasn't I, to begin with? Vanessa from the West Midlands has messaged you. Morning, Stuart team. Lovely to see you on air today. Have a fab show. Mwah. Thank you so much, Vanessa. It's lovely to be here. It's felt like an age. It's only been about nine or ten days since I was on, but I've missed everybody. Well, I was in yesterday, of course, but before that, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Keep checking out your baskets, won't you? Um, good morning uh, to Clive. Good morning, Clive's watching. Morning to the gang. Uh, uh, wait a minute, I saw another one then. Just a minute. Chantelle has messaged in. Oh, Chantelle's having a birthday. What can you spend your birthday money on? Very nice, very nice. I'm sure we'll find something to tempt you. The early bird's pretty tempting, isn't it? Susan's messaged, happy birthday. It's my sister's birthday too. It's lovely. Yeah, it's a good time of year for birthdays. My birthday is next week. Um, Suzanne's message. Good morning, Stuart and the team. Have a fabulous day from dry but windy Aberdeen. I don't mind as long as it's not raining. I've never been to Aberdeen. Um, so morning, Stuart and crew. Looking good. Have a good day, love to all. Thank you. Do love a blue sweater. 
love a blue sweater. Uh, Susan, good morning, Stuart and everyone. Damp start here in Derbyshire. Oh dear. Yes, Chantelle's got a birthday. Got birthday money to spend. I'm sure you'll find something lovely, Chantelle. We've got loads of beautiful new fabrics. I have actually got a bit of very exciting news to share a very special, very special announcement to make. But I'm going to, I'm going to wait, I'm going to wait because I've got another early bird to share with you. Let me show you this. You know where the price is going to go. Now, this is Wildflower Honey Stripe. Now, this is a um, similar kind of idea. On this uh, panel, you've actually got four wider stripes. So on the other one, it was um, five. This is four, but they're wider. Um, and you've got, uh, again, four fantastic designs, lovely kind of modern prints that would also blend with more traditional too. So you've got this kind of raspberry um, floral, you've got this brilliant hexagon um, honeycomb, yeah. And then you've also got this beautiful blue on blue triangle pattern. And then I think my favourite is this one, almost like sort of triangular graph paper. Brilliant designs to have in your stash. Now, if you were um, thinking, well, how much fabric do I get here? It's the equivalent of a fat eighth each piece of fabric, because you've got four in half a metre, so it's like a four fat eighths. Six ninety-nine. Apps. Not today, though. Not today. Not today. Brand new fabric. We're already taking that price down to four ninety-nine. Now remember, that's just till midnight tonight. So snap these up while you can. They're a brilliant bargain. Beautiful quality. Really soft handle. There's nothing. You know, sometimes fabric can be a bit sort of stiff and starchy. This is really soft. Really soft. Lovely and fluid. Really good weight. But you know, normal weight for quilt weight cotton. Um, but absolutely brilliant. Now you could also use this fabric as a really brilliant backing fabric for a lot of quilts. And I think the fact that it's all already pieced together gives you a nice interesting fun backing you could also cut um, sort of if you bought kind of enough of it you could actually have big squares cut big squares of this that were maybe like um, so like 40 inches square so basically about a meter if it if you bought four meters of this, meter, 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 sew them together, you would have a massive backing, probably about 80 inches square backing um, for a really affordable price. And it would be fun, interesting, and you could turn the stripes this way and that. Lots you can do with that fabric. Use it as four separate fabrics. Cut across. Yeah, so cut down here and you've got pink and yellow. Cut over here and you've got yellow and blue. Cut over here and you've got pink and navy. So you've got these double strips. I would definitely multi-buy on a fabric like this. I would get at least two units, especially at this price, but it's such a useful fabric. Brilliant stash builder but also really, really useful just as sort of a pre-printed fabric. Borders, bindings, piecing, it's absolutely ideal. Again, $4.99 your price for a half a metre of this Wildflower Honey Stripe fabric. And it's our early bird today. We've got two of them. This is just one option. Our other option, of course, has got the five different fabrics. Let me just show you that one again. And they are both just $4.99. So again, you've got those, this time, five different stripes. They're a bit narrower. How cool is that? You could definitely get both. You could definitely get both. They would work really well together. $4.99 per half metre, only till midnight tonight, though. So do be quick on today's early bird special. Love it. Now, let's do the menu and see what we've got coming up. We've got a great morning ahead of us. 
We've got Amanda Little coming in today. I'm so excited. She's got the most beautiful quilt to share with us. But anyway, first and foremost, 8 a.m., it's fabulous fabrics and fat quarters. I've got some really, really lovely fabrics in this hour, actually which I'm going to enjoy showing you. At nine, Amanda Little he is here with her ombre French braid quilt. The fabrics in that quilt are out of this world. They are so beautiful. Look at that. How beautiful is that? The fabrics are a brand new collection from Moda. They feel divine. They look amazing. You're going to love them. And it's a beautiful like modern colour palette but really easy to live with if you like more traditional stuff it's still very easy to live with but it's also a lovely modern a collection so that's the uh, French braid ombre French braid collection quilt from Amanda Little love it at 10 a.m we've got sewing room tools and we're also going to be having a look at that beautiful fabric collection but we're also going to be looking in that hour at a very very special product which I'll mention in just a moment at 11 a.m Amanda will be back with her great kit for making bag and paperweights and pattern cutting weights brill and then there they are look at those brilliant absolutely brilliant little set that you could make 18 of those um pattern cutting weights and amanda is actually including a very special extra something in with her patterns which we'll tell you about later and then at 12 o'clock we're going to have a sewing machine hour so we can really get stuck into the whys and wherefores of some of our most popular and best love machines now you know that sewing machines are going up in price i'm going to go through those price increases with you and also and also what do you think's under there what do you think's under there um <laughs> how you can get them at the current price as well now we have the most exciting news for you today which is drum roll please the 680 elna 680 plus is available today for pre-order. Now we've never done this before, but we know that so many of you have been waiting to get your Elna 680. Now, what we've got, what we can offer you is the Elna 680 Plus, it's on pre-order. It's going to be sent out mid-February. Okay, so this is a pre-order. Uh, we're also, if you pre-order the Elna 680 Plus, we're going to give you £50 in credit to spend at Sewing Street in March. So it's like you're getting a £50, you know, present, little gift to you to say thanks for buying an Elna 680 Plus on pre-order. It's £50. Get yourself some fabric, get yourself some notions, maybe a dress pattern and some fabric. Let's go to the website and I'll show you how you can pre-order your Elna 680 Plus before we sell out again. That's the most important news. So go to the website, click on Watch Live, and then if you scroll down, okay, if you click to pre-order, and then you'll see everything for today. Now, if you keep scrolling down, you will need to go all the way to the very bottom. Oh, look at those lovely fabrics. They're coming up with Amanda so beautiful all those lovely tools too um, but if you keep scrolling oh is that making your eyes go funny there it is there it is at the very bottom the elna excellence 680 plus sewing machine now you can pre-order it today you can um, have split pays as well We've got our split pays. I'll go through all of the details in a little while, but our normal split pays too. You'll also get that £50 credit to your Sewing Street account to spend in the month of March. And uh, there it is. There's that special deal. And then you can secure your brand new machine. Now, the Elna 680 Plus is our most loved most coveted machine. I know how popular it is because I remember I think my very first day here at Sewing Street, or my first weekend certainly, we got the 680 Plus back in stock and um, 
it just went absolutely wild. Now, we don't have the stock this time around that we had back then. So we're going to sell out much, much faster than we did last time. And I think we sold out in a matter of days. Um, so we're not going to have stock around for very, very long. And remember, this is to pre-order your, your machine and to make sure that you've put your name on it and that machine is guaranteed to come to you mid-February. Um, a Valentine present for yourself, uh, an I love me uh, and I love my sewing machine. We're so excited to get it back in stock. It's a brilliant machine. I've had a 680 for um, a few years now and I absolutely love it. I haven't got the plus, uh, but the 680, I can tell you, is an absolutely amazing machine. The 680 Plus actually has some really clever additional features that really make it worthwhile. Um, I'm just going to, I'm going to take the cover off now because it is here and we absolutely love it. But I mean, it's just, so, sorry, it was in the absolute perfect position and I just had to move it. Uh, it is just brilliant. And what I love most about this machine is it is absolutely the perfect setup for every kind of home sewing. Whether you dress make, do quilting and patchwork, home decor, mending, a bit of everything, it is absolutely set up perfectly. And the range of feet that you're getting with this machine really are second to none. You've got your walking foot included. You know, some brands of sewing machine, a walking foot is over a hundred pounds. Who wants to spend that kind of money when you've just bought a sewing machine as well to get a foot which is essential? You know, you know you're going to use that walking foot every time you quilt something or sew on a binding or make a bag or make curtains or do dress. You need that walking foot. Well, it's covered. It's in the package. Quilters, you know that you want a free motion foot. Well, in this package, you get your regular free motion foot, but then you also get an extra free motion foot, which is adaptable. And this is genius. You've got three different feet, if you like, that, that go on to that free motion foot. You have a closed toe, a darning foot, an open toe, I love that because you can see exactly what you're doing and where you're stitching. And then you also get what I always call like a uh, like a bullseye or a cross crossfire, um, big foot. It's a big flat foot. Really helps to keep your surface flat while you're and controlled while you're quilting. Um, just get super control with that for free motion quilting. You get those included. And again, I, I mean, there's just so much rolled hem foot, quarter inch foot you know, you name it, it's on here. Plethora of stitches, easy computerized design, and fine, and the best news of course is, it's finally available. Um, you can pre-order this today. For that price, 1249 pounds, you can take those easy pays. We've got five easy pays on this machine of 249 pounds 80. Now, um, that means that uh, order today and that means that your stock's guaranteed it's yours um, we uh, have been told that uh, delivery will be mid February so mid February those machines will be being sent out to you and you know that you're getting that machine you've secured it it's yours you can look forward to years of wonderful sewing have a think about it. I'll be doing a really good sort of overview of the machine later on. And also, please, please go online. Price comparison. Do a search. And also, you know, gen up on a sewing machine. You know, it's an important purchase. I know it is. It's really important. You need to know it's the right. Ask on the fans page. Lots of you have got this machine. I know that lots of you absolutely love this machine too. And are really happy to talk to each other about why it's such a great machine. We love having a good relationship with Elna that we're able to offer this on pre-order. It's absolutely wonderful. Um, and it's not something we normally do, but we know that we've sort of disappointed lots of you where we just haven't had enough stock in the past or the stock goes so fast. So um, we're doing it on pre-order this time. It at least allows us to sort of get ahead 
of the curve. Um, also, though, we wanted to thank you for making that pre-order purchase. So we're adding in a £50 credit to your Sewing Street account that you can spend in March on whatever you like. Whatever you like. You certainly won't need to buy any new feet. You're going to get plenty of those. Now, we do know that the price of this machine is going up. Um, do please look at elsewhere and see the prices that it is and, and is going up to. Make sure you're comparing light to light. Remember, the 680 and the 680 Plus are different. So what we've got here is the excellent 680 Plus with those extra features, and they really are superb. Um, but yeah, do definitely have a look. Now, a message from Elizabeth, who's in West Yorkshire. Morning, gorgeous. Good morning, Elizabeth. I got my 680 uh, Bertha love a machine with a name, in 2021 and she is absolutely fantastic. I'd highly recommend getting one. Elna customer service is brilliant. I mean that is great to know as well isn't it that you've got that backup, you've got that support. I mean I know it's not the most exciting thing usually, but reading the manual, the manual is brilliant. It's a really good manual. You can also download the manual to your computer, your Kindle, your iPad. Now, you don't have to have made a purchase. You can download the manual, have a read through it. You know, have a look through, see the features in detail because this is going to be your best sewing friend for many, many years to come. Get to know the sewing machine before you make your purchase. I really do think that's a great thing to do. I also think it's a great thing to actually talk to other people who have an Elna 680 Plus. So get on the fans page. I know you enjoy talking to each other and sharing your experiences of how you've got on with a particular machine. So, you know, definitely do that. We're going to have a really good look at the machine in the 10 o'clock tools hour, but also in more depth at 12 o'clock. So plenty of opportunity for you to get in any questions, any queries, get them in. I will do my absolute best. Congratulations if you've already checked out on yours, by the way. I know some of you already have. That's aced. Well done, you. Um, we didn't know, actually. <laughs> this, was, this was under the desk, okay? And it was like, well, it's there. And if we get word, then we can bring it up. Um, and just kind of midway through the early bird, um, our producer, Kat, came in and uh, lifted the machine up. <laughs> if you had any bumping or banging. That was, that was Kat. A message from Marilyn, if my house was on fire and I could only save one thing, it would be my 680 plus. Couldn't be without her. I can say no more. I can say no more. Yeah, absolutely. Well, my 680 is in my studio now and I'm using it all the time. I've made so many of the quilts and projects that you've seen recently on air with me have all been made on the 680 plus. It sews at a super speed. It's wonderful, reliable machine. Um, and it's very easy if you're, even if you're very new to sewing, um, or you've only used a very basic sewing machine before, the operation of this machine is simplicity itself. It's very intuitive. Um, John Scott has this machine. He owns a 680 plus. Um, John, of course, you know, has an absolute wealth of knowledge about sewing machines and sewing industry. It's the machine he's chosen. And we're around them all the time. Yeah, we see a lot of really good sewing machines. But, you know, when one of us picks this machine to be our machine, you know, I think that's a pretty good endorsement. But also when you pick a machine, that is also an equally brilliant endorsement. So talk to each other and get other people's opinion. Read the reviews. There's lots and lots of reviews of the 680 Plus as well. See if it's right for you. Have a think. Bob in your questions as well. But yeah, check it out on that pre-order page. You can pre-order. And remember, £50 credit to spend in March. What would you spend your £50 on? Some new dressmaking patterns? <laughs> Our producer kept teasing me and saying, Stuart, that's a new book. <laughs> 
But you know, that's great, isn't it? You know, you're already getting an amazing price, but then an extra 50 pounds, why not? Congrats to everyone who's got theirs. Well done. And if you've already got the 680 plus, I mean, you know what I'm talking about. Getting so many messages from you this morning actually say, I've got my 680 plus, bought it, love it. Yeah, wouldn't have any other machine. John's in at the weekend actually, and he said he might bring his 680 plus in. I'll get John sewing on air. <laughs> uh, oh, Marion, my 680 means that my daughter can now sew too. She has issues with coordination and the stop start button means she doesn't have to use the pedal. Brilliant point. Brilliant point. And you know, nowadays we think of that sort of start stop button as being a standard. Well, it is a standard, you know, often. But I mean, I remember 20 years ago or so, it was really unusual. It was really difficult. When it came in, it was an innovation that was suddenly like, why haven't we had this for years? This is brill. Absolutely brill. All right. Now, you know how I am on delicious fabric, beautiful fabric. I've fallen in love with this range already. It is sumptuous, juicy, colour rich. This is Helen Peterson. Uh, the range is called Indigo Garden. Oh my goodness me. I can't help myself but arrange fabric, fan fabric out, just so you can see. This is a mega bundle of beautiful, beautiful fabric. You're getting seven meters in total. There are 14 different fabrics in this collection and you get half a meter of each, but you're actually only paying for six and a half meters of that fabric. You're getting 749 or one of these half meters for free. I love a freebie. And I would always pick out, you know, my absolute favourite fabric and think, you're the one I got for free. That's the one that's free. Oh, look at that. So many delicious options. I think, you know, I'm, I'm often talking about what colour coordinate I'd put with a fabric, but you know what? This fabric, I would put print to print to print. This would be all about celebrating all those sumptuous prints together. But of course you could use some cream, some ivory, some white, if you wanted to create a bit more sort of space and lightness within that fabric collection. So a little bit about the designer, why not? Here she is, Heather Peterson. Look at those lovely fabrics. Oh, Heather's a designer and the owner behind Anchor's Treasures. Now, Anchor's Treasures have been around for decades. They are amazing. Her designs are so cool. If you've never heard of her, look up Anchor's Treasures. Um, I remember buying a pattern book of hers years ago for using charm packs. She's always been ahead of the curve. Um, she started her business as a college sophomore in 1996 and since that time she's published numerous single patterns and more than 30 books. Her work's been published in American Patchwork and Quilting and other popular quilting magazines and she was named Quilter of the Year in 2019 by the Minnesota Quilters State Guild. Her designs combine trendy colours with traditional and modern influences and often incorporate innovative ways to easily achieve complicated looking designs. When Heather isn't working on quilt designs, she can be found working on fabric lines, teaching classes and lecturing. Heather makes her home near Spicer, Minnesota with her husband Joel and sons Carter and Maxwell. When not quilting and designing, Heather likes to read, knit, play pickleball, no idea, spend time down by the lake and hang out with her boys. Ah, if anybody knows what pickleball is, do email in. <laughs> These are gorgeous fabrics. Um, I'm just wondering, Kat, do you think it's possible just to find a few images of some of her Anchor's Treasures designs, just to show she's a brilliant designer, she really is. And her fabrics are delicious, aren't they? They're so gorgeous. This one has a bit of a kind of mandala, uh, theme going to it. I think these would be amazing for bag making, wouldn't they? Re they're really sort of set up for bag making because you've got those sort of mid scale designs which work so well for things like handbags, totes, 
messenger bags, that kind of thing. You could very, very easily pick out, you know, um, a feature print and then maybe just a little, you know, something for an accent. And of course, two half meters, you've got quite a decent sized bag, shoulder strap, trims, lining, all there. So, oh, lovely. Yeah, her Instagram is great. Let's just show you her Instagram. She is am amazing. She is absolutely amazing. Look at these. These are all using this fabric collection Indigo Garden. How fab are these? Look at that. Look at that. And do you see, she hasn't used on those designs, <laughs> just changed to one where there's a blender. But on the other designs, there was no blender. You can see how adding some white print really kind of makes everything pop. Um, but if we do just go back, you can see there, no blender. Look how fabulous those designs look. Oh, there you go. Look, I've already liked it. <laughs> well, there you go. See, I, you know, I do. I love her. She's terrific. And she's been around for decades and she's always been fabulous. She's always been fabulous. Um, that pink's gorgeous, isn't it? It's absolutely full of sunshine. Now, seven metres might be a rather large bundle for you and that might just be too much. I am thrilled to bits that we've got another option, but we've got less than 10 of these. So let me just show you. Oh, this is so going in the boot of my car. We have got those same 14 fabrics, but this time back quarters. I'm really excited about this. I wish, I wish we did more fat quarter bundles and I've got you back on that. You know, I, I'm going to keep suggesting it. Um, but look at those 14 fat quarters mega bundle, 52.99. You've got so much fabric there to play with. So much fabric there to play with. Uh, you've got three and a half meters. Now, let me just show you. I was showing everyone this cushion yesterday and I just want to just pop this down for a second. Now this, my Casbar cushion um, that I made using a different fat quarter bundle, this is quick, easy and actually would look amazing done in these fabrics. Exactly the same principle. I'll run through really quickly. This uses 14 fabrics. You've got 14 fabrics in your Heather Peterson Indigo Garden bundle. So from each fat quarter, you're going to cut a four and a half inch wide strip down the short side of your fat quarter. OK, you're then going to cut that down into two four and a half by eight and a half inch rectangles. So that's what you need to cut. OK, and then you're just going to arrange those 28 rectangles into rows and you need three rectangles, four, three, four, three, four, three, four. Sew them end to end, quarter inch seam, and then lay them out. And you just, you row of four, you're going to offset. So there'll be a half rectangle sticking out top and bottom. Sew them together into those rows and then trim the top and bottom even. You should end up with a rectangle that's 24 and a half inches by 32 and a half inches. That's basically the size of two pillows, two bed pillows. So this is a big mega cushion. Layer it, quilt it, add some bobble trim, and then just make it up into a cushion. Easy peasy. That would also be a great pattern for a quilt. These fabrics would be delish. Now, um, you could make from a fa uh, this fat quarter bundle, a four and a half, I'm thinking a four and a half inch strip. You can make at least four of those cushions or four of those big pounds from this fat quarter bundle. So that's quite a decent sized lap quilt if you add no other fabric. Now, if you wanted to start adding in maybe a few extra um, solids, you know, for example, these sorts of different tones, you absolutely could. You absolutely could. And you could kind of spread it out a little bit or add some white or cream. Um, but even on their own, amazing value and so much that you can make with that. 
aren't they beautiful? Less than 10 available, so do grab them. This sunny yellow print, just check that out. Isn't that amazing? Really beautiful. 10 degrees when we were driving in today. I'm telling you, spring is on its way. There'll probably be snow by the end of the week. What do I know? So lovely. Now, I'll pop that to one side because we've got some other lovely options of fabric for this hour. Um, I'm just going to grab some of the fat quarters. We've got some lovely fat quarter bundles that I want to show you too. Now, should we start solids? Mm. So I was just showing you a few solids then. These are fat quarters. Amazing price this. £8.72 for five fat quarters. Now, certainly those four would work really well with the Indigo Garden. There's a lovely purple as well, a very regal purple in there too. Great stash builders. You get a fat quarter of each one. If you've never bought a fat quarter before, it's half of a half metre. So it's a useful size and shape for quilters. It's approximately 18 inches by 21 inches. And then they're all cut in house. These are pre-cut bundles though. So if you multi-buy, they'll come as fat quarter bundles and you'd get two bundles or three bundles, depending on what you bought. Great also to have those solids in your stash because you never know when you need a little bit of yellow, a little bit of orange. I'm thinking Easter chicks for sure, Easter chicks. <laughs> I'm very much focused on Easter now. These are all Rose and Hubble, beautiful quality cotton. There are same quilt weight cottons, so these work perfectly to mix in, to extend and to blend with your designer ranges of fabrics. So really, really useful to have in your stash. Don't forget the most exciting news today, the Elna 680 Plus is available on pre-order we know we're going to sell out of this stock really, really quickly. So if you've been waiting for the 680 Plus to become available again, it is available to pre-order. Pre-order today, you'll get a £50 credit into your Sewing Street account to spend in March as a thank you from us. And you'll also know that your name is going on a machine and mid-February that will be sent out to you and you can, between now and then, download the manual, start planning your sewing projects um, and get ready for the absolute sort of, you know, trip because the machine is just wonderful. Now then, a question from Jill. Morning Stuart, would the rainbow fat quarter complement the wildflower panel early bird? Let me go and grab it. Let me go and grab it. <laughs> Talk amongst yourselves. Just wondering now, they're not both, not both. Oh, there's the other one, there's the other one. There we go. <clears throat> Certainly, I, what I would say, Jill, is these are all good stash builders. So, you know, the tones, you know, you've got, for example, on this one, You've got that, you've got that yellow, that works really nicely. Is that better? This is the Woodland Friends one, by the way. Um, I mean, I think, look, they're, they're great to mix and match. They're great stash builders. So, you know, if you were wanting to create, say, for example, your patchwork, what you want is some planes, some prints, polka dots, geometrics, and having that sort of mixture um, is really, really useful. I think they go well, yeah. I think just look as a stash builder, they're absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. They're not the exact same colours, of course, but they do go really nicely together. Now, next up, we've got a monochrome fat quarter bundle. These are all printed fabrics. Now, um, oh, there's a solid, there's a solid white and a solid black. So, um, black and white prints, really hard to find. Really hard to find. Brilliant stash builders. There's a great little collection, that. You've got this kind of um, 
It's almost like a sort of script. Well, it is a script. It is writing. There are words, but they're kind of done so densely, you can't exactly make out individual words. But I love that print. It's really cool. And then you've got a little all over vine and a little leaf print. That's lovely. like that. And then you've got a solid white and a solid black. So those together, really nice little collection, £12 and 97 pence. You've got there a metre and a quarter of fabric. So lots of fabric for your money. That's our monochrome option. Now, American country, we've got, sorry, beg your pardon. Uh, this is lovely. I fell in love with this actually when I saw it. Can we start with the blue? This is American Country. Now, I think this was on, wasn't it, last week? About last week. But I haven't seen this before. So this is brand new to me. Oh, this is fabulous. This is fabulous. Look at that. Now, this is $14.99 for the panel. Now, that wall hanging in your sewing room. We well, could layer it, quilt it, bind it, just as it is. You could add some borders. You could add some borders if you wanted. You could add some pieced borders. You could certainly add some big stitch quilting, some little embellishments. You could also cut into that panel because there are some really interesting cool things like those bookshelves that you might want to incorporate into another piece or you know, kind of cut up, reboard, or resash those elements and then piece them back together for a larger quilt. Absolutely loads you could do with this. Absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Mostly blue with just some little touches of kind of barn red. Blue is the world's favourite colour, yeah. It is gorgeous. Love that little bit of patchwork as well. And the things in the jars. It's all lovely. Little clock face there. There's your sewing machine. Of course, with a bit of patchwork underneath it. <laughs> Isn't it cool? Everywhere you look, there's something different. There's your little spray bottle and the trusty iron. Pin. Just the one. Pin. And it's empty. The pin is in use. Little stacked up suitcases, little mock patchwork down there as well. Even down here, you know, here in this sort of border, you've got these little squares. Now, you could, of course, cut these off. What's a wine glass and wine bottle? Oh, I know what that's for. That's to celebrate when you finish the free motion quilting. <laughs> little bit of nail polish. Just a little pamper party at the end. It's great, isn't it? What a lot of fun. And for $14.99, it's an absolute gem. An absolute gem. Now, that's the blue version. We also have um, a version which is kind of those warm, lovely warm country colours, which I just love. Tans, more of that barn red. Um, this is fab. Wow, that's fab really like that look at that that's gorgeous now we've less of this colorway available it's been really really popular you might have already ordered one of these a few days ago and if, and you might want to get one for a friend it's just going to disappear and we'll never see it again and it's so much fun isn't it i do love the fact do love the fact that the vacuum cleaner is just sitting idle. <gasps> I always say patchwork forever, housework whenever, whenever. <laughs> yeah, it's great. It's great. I love it. I absolutely love it. What do you think? How would you use this? Now, it's already got a border running around the outside here. So <clears throat> when you're making this panel up, you could layer it, quilt it, trim, just trim back to this line, and then you could bind that edge. Or cut this with a quarter of an inch extra and add another border on it. Now we have got some coordinating prints that would go really, really well that are from this same collection. 
if you wanted to add some extra borders, a bit of piecing. Let's have a look at those. Now we'll start with a mega bundle of all of the fabrics that we've got that coordinate with these panels and they go with both the blue and that sort of more ready toned uh, panel version. So let me show you what we've got. So this mega bundle has got nine fabrics in it. They're, I like them, they're, they're a um, sort of small scale, low volume sort of print. They work really well with the panel because what it needs is sort of, you know, there's blues and reds and tans just to create things like maybe some little log cabin blocks, little star blocks, something like that. Maybe some flying geese that you can run a border around the outside of that panel. So a good selection of those lighter tones and then some really good, this is that good kind of federal blue. Now you're saving £2.50 by buying the Mega Bundle and I like any saving. It's £64.91. You're getting half a metre of each of those nine fabrics. Now these do come um, pre-cut. So if you multi-buy, you'll get separate packs rather than being sort of continuous lengths. We've only got 10 of these mega bundles available. I love, 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 love this red. It's a real kind of deep barn red, isn't it? It's available by the half meter. And this is the only one that's got that really lovely deep red. Now, you know what, whether you're going for the blue version or the more multi-tonal version, they've both got this is the blue panel, but they've both got that little bit of the red in them. So you could pick that out. It would be lovely as an accent border. And you might be multi-buying two or three of the panels. Half a metre of this would create a little fine accent border on all three. What about a little tool roll or a sewing machine cover? What about a work bag? So now available by the half metre for seven forty nine. Now this will be cut off the bolt specially for you. So if you want to buy a metre and a half, order three units, you'll get a continuous length. And then if you want to make yourself a, you know, work apron for when you're in the sewing room, or if you want to make yourself a blouse, you can. All right, it's a quilt weight cotton. It's a lovely colour. I just love it. I would always, I'd call this barn red. It's that kind of brownie red. It's just gorgeous. Works so well with kind of country style, homey style. Covered in threads already. Now, another fabric that goes really nicely still within, I'll stick with that kind of barn red theme. This has the word quilts all over it. And like little buttons. And that's also picking out that lovely red colour. This is GI38. It's got a nice warm creamy background so it adds that touch of lightness but it's still warm. What about a little case for your specs or a little case for your rotary cutter? You know basically the same kind of thing as a spectacle case and there's a free tutorial actually on my YouTube channel for um, spectacle case. And what you could do is just add an extra little flap with a popper so you can put your rotary cutter inside and pop the uh, popper over to keep it secure. That would look really cute in that fabric. And you could easily team those two together and create something like a reversible work bag or a sewing machine cover with bound edges. That would look really nice. And just combine those two fabrics or cut up your panel and create a sewing machine cover out of that panel. I mean, it's not by any means sacrilege to cut into a panel and use elements of it mixed with patchwork to create something else. Uh, you know, I think it's sometimes you just need to, you can use it as it is, you can cut it up, you can use elements from it. You could even include some of them in your applique work, things like the clock face. Now I love this one, it's got that lovely deep federal blue or cadet blue. I just, it's my favourite kind of blue this one because again it has that warm country look to it. Uh, covered with kind of old fashioned sewing notions. Is that my eyes? <laughs> Alison Marion sent in a picture actually of her wall hanging that she did using this panel. 
um, which I think we've got to show you. This is really lovely. Look at that. Looks great, doesn't it? So that's the panel. And then Alison's added, I think, three borders. Yeah, three borders. The patchwork at the top is already part of the panel, of course. And so there's like a sort of white border, the red, and then a different white border. And binding, that's it. So four half metres plus a panel, and you could make that beautiful wall hanging. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Absolutely lovely. That fabric actually would also be really nice if you've done... Um, Janet Clare does a really lovely like wrap over apron. That fabric would look gorgeous for that. Well, any of these, in fact. Now, a couple more lights. This one's kind of got a bit more of a tan warmth to it, SA60. So this is the same kind of old fashioned tools, but on more of a kind of almost like a tea dye background, although it's a, you know, one solid color, but it's got that lovely warmth. Gorgeous, love the little scissors, the old fashioned iron and sewing machine. Tools of our trade, aren't they? It's amazing, really, how you know so much has moved on and fashions changed. But at the end of the day, if you look in most sewers' toolkits, you'll see an iron, a pair of scissors, tape measure. Janet's messaged in Morning, everybody at Sewing Street. Good morning. <laughs> I'm forever putting my tape measure down and losing it. A sewing apron is a perfect idea. There you go, Janet. It's all yours. Send us in a pic when you make it. Never lose that tape measure again. It's a nice thought, isn't it? I'm always mislaying things. Trisha's message in too. Morning, Stuart. Lovely to see you. I had an email yesterday to say that your book was on its way as I'd put it on my wish list. Yay! Wish list is brilliant for that. If you've never used wish list before on the website, if you missed out on something, um, put the item onto your wish list and then if something comes back into stock or maybe someone changes their mind and some stock becomes available you'll you know we'll get in touch to say it's available so you don't miss it when it comes back in in stock and um, it's brilliant news Trisha uh, I hope you enjoy it send me a picture of your first make make it a good one <laughs> a fab lovely now there's another print with that red on here lc70 um uh, this is gorgeous and again this would work perfectly with either of the panels because there is even though there's one which is blue it's got little touches of red isn't that cute now if you love mandy shaw red work yeah Embroidery, we love Manti. We love Manti. Ready for the weekend. John gets the, you know, he gets the fun of Manti. I want to, I, I want to see Manti. I'm coming in. I'm just going to turn up. I'm just going to turn up. <laughs> Mandy's ace. Um, these fit really fit in with Manti's red work. If you just love that whole look of that kind of red work, if you bought scarlet stitches and white linen uh, a week or two ago, um, that was a beautiful red and white range. This will blend in there too. If you love your kind of country style, country colours, if you love Lynette Anderson or Amy Downs from Hatched and Patched, this has that same kind of vibe. It's a little bit vintage, whimsical. Lots of you have got these in your baskets. I don't blame you. Don't forget, you know, you can buy the mega bundle um, of all those half metres, nine half metres. Now, I've saved these last four blues. These are lovely. All over quilts, FE68. Just again, a really nice, it's that lovely sort of lighter federal blue with quilts all over. Have you pre-ordered your 680 plus? Have you heard the news? Have you heard the news? The 680 plus is back in stock. It's lovely that sort of light chambray denim blue, isn't it? Lovely chambray denim blue. I'm trying to drown out the sound of our producer cat who just be grateful you can't hear this. She's currently doing start spreading. <laughs> 
but then keeping going. I mean, I always give you a flavour, don't I? A couple of words, but Kat's just going for it. <laughs> but the news is that the 680 plus from Elna is available at last on pre-order and um, will be delivered mid-February and comes with £50 credit to your Sewing Street account just as a thank you from us for making that leap and joining the the gang um, of us that have a 680 or a 680 plus that we just love. Quest, question from Elaine. Hi, student team. How do I put an item on my wish list, please? I can't see it on the website. Sorry, that's my fault, Elaine. I said go on the website. Probably not looking in the right place. No, that's completely my fault. I pointed you in the right direction. Uh, call the call centre. If you call the call centre, it's UK based, they're a super team, family run, and just ask them to put an item on a wish list for you. They'll do that for you, and then if the item becomes available, they'll get in touch. Uh, last fabric, um, we've got that sort of darker cadet blue all over quilts. These are smashing, aren't they? They're those kind of use them with anything and everything. You could add these into a project and it's just a little subtle, subtle nod that we love our quilting. You could make a great shirt out of these actually, couldn't you? It'd be super. Or a tie, a twilly, little pocket square. Just a little nod, but really great mixed in with other fabrics just to show your love of quilting. So many gorgeous fabrics. We never got time to see our beautiful, we've had the gorgeous quilt from Wendy Orlando hanging up. We've got fat quarter bundles of those fabrics. Let me just show you so, so quickly. Um, I won't go through individual item numbers, but let me just show you quickly. We've got these five different fat quarter packs available. So if you were watching yesterday and saw those beautiful brand new fabrics from Moda, um, you can get them in these beautiful fat quarter bundles. So if you fancy making, maybe you wanted to, maybe you've got the Wendy Orlando um, kit, but you want to make it bigger or you wanted some extra fabrics, now's your chance. Have a look on pre-order. We've got the teals, we've got the sage, we've got the oranges and golds. Such beautiful fabrics. Have a look. They're actually below us now on show deals. If you have a look on the website, easy to find for you. Have a look at those too. We're going to cut to a little break now. When we come back, I'm very excited to introduce Amanda Little and we'll have a great hour looking at her gorgeous ombre French braid quilt. It is so stunning. The fabrics are brand new. I know you're going to love them. Just got time to grab a bicky and I will see you back here in two. Do you love sewing? Are you creative, inspiring, and love to share your skills and tips with others? We're excited to announce Sewing Street's Search for a Star 2022. We're looking for talented sewists of all genres. Dressmaking, quilting, homewares, and needlecraft. To join the Sewing Street family and share their sewing wisdom with our viewers. Live on air. To enter to become our next guest designer, all you have to do is send us a video submission of you introducing yourself and a brief demonstration of some sewing. Send your video to studio at sewingstreet.com with the subject, search for a sewing star. If you have any issues, email us and director Elliot will be sure to help. Please keep your videos under three minutes in length and in landscape. For more information, Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Good, Good luck. luck! Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. 
We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. We are moving home. From Wednesday the 26th of January, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane are moving to Freeview Channel 73. We will still be on Sky Channel 670, YouTube and Facebook Live as normal. It's only the Freeview Channel that is changing. Keep your eyes peeled on our Facebook, Instagram and our email newsletter for more details. And if you watch us on Freeview, don't forget to tune into Freeview Channel 73 from 8am on Wednesday the 26th of January. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Hi everybody, welcome back. My goodness me, you've joined us for an amazing hour. We've got the most beautiful, beautiful quilt and an amazing guest, Amanda Little, for this next hour. Don't forget, one of the biggest news stories today is that our most beloved uh, Elna Excellence 680 Plus is available for pre-order. We're so excited to finally have the uh, option now of you pre-ordering this machine to secure your machine. Now it's going to be delivered mid-February. Um, you can have five split pays if you'd like them of 249.80 and also, hello, 50 pounds credit to your Sewing Street account just from us to say Thank you. Enjoy your machine. Here's fifty pound. Go get yourself some fabric or dressmaking patterns or some fat quarters. You'll get your machine mid February. You can spend your fifty pound credit in March. I mean, that sounds like, hey, welcome spring. I'm ready for the next of the year. Just wonderful, isn't it? Something to look forward to. Focus a little bit on springtime and revamping. The 680 Plus might well have been on your wish list uh, for years, months. You've certainly read the reviews. You've heard other people on our Facebook page talking about how much they love the machine. You might have heard of John uh, talking about his Elna 680 Plus. Um, our beloved John Scott has a, a, this machine at home for his sewing. 
It's a real endorsement, isn't it? When anyone that you know and trust who enjoys their sewing has a particular machine, it's great to get their opinion. So um, just super excited about that. That's available to pre-order from today. Some of you have already checked out your baskets on that. Well done you. Your name is on that machine. It will be coming to you mid-Feb. Now, this hour is all about the most beautiful quilt design and a stunning range of fabrics. This is Amanda Little's Ombre French Braid Quilt Kit. Now, within this bundle, you'll get it. The price is amazing, isn't it? Can you believe that? Uh, wow. 20 fat eighths of the Focus fabrics from Moda. You're also getting Amanda's amazing instructions. And then you're also getting two meters of cream fabric and a meter and a half of storm gray. School gray, I beg your pardon, school gray. Um, it was always a storm when I was in school, Amanda, let me tell you. Uh, <laughs> to make that quilt, and you've got those fantastic instructions. Now, French braid quilt, one of my favorite quilt designs, and this one's a stunner from Amanda. It really is very, very beautiful. Amanda's also rather beautifully, thank you, Amanda, rather nice little touch this, has put in a little golden ticket into all of those kits. So when you buy them, let me just show you this. When you buy them, let me just show you this. You're going to get a, thank you. No, Amanda, thank <laughs> you. Thank you. Because Amanda's an amazing long arm quilter, um, as well as being a brilliant quilter and quilt designer. And what she's included uh, to say thank you for supporting her small business is 25% off your next edge to edge long arm quilting service. And there's a discount code included, hence the thumb. <laughs> and uh, for that, you're going to get 25% off edge to edge quilting. Um, now, I long arm quilt virtually all of my quilts. I love the effect. I know lots of you really love it too. And it's a brilliant way of getting your quilt finished rather than lingering, yeah. la la lounging <laughs> in a drawer, in a bag somewhere. Get it finished. It's a beautiful finish for a quilt. What a lovely little token. Thanks for that. You're welcome. Let me just say a big bright good morning to you, Hello. Amanda. I love your dress. Thank you. It's Lockdown belly friendly. <laughs> oh, it's gorgeous. I'm, I'm, I, you know, I'm just admiring that beautiful fabric and thinking it is lovely. Yeah, oh, thank could you. I have a fat quarter? <laughs> Don't rip your bit off. <laughs> gorgeous. Great to see you. And this you, morning. yes, anyway, thank how you are very you? Good, thank you. Yes. Good, good. It's a beautiful quilt. It is nice, isn't it? Yes, I do. Like absolutely it. stunning. Yeah. It's absolutely stunning. The colours are cool, aren't they? They're lovely. I think it's quite an elegant um, quilt. It's not particularly sort of frilly and pretty. It's quite classic it is. Um, would it's look classy, good in a, a modern yeah. or a, a traditional interior totally agree and if you're making for other people and you sort of you know especially younger people who might have a particular taste, that is very modern yes, isn't it yeah, and fresh yeah yeah love it let me show you the fat eights that you get included all the fabric there's so much in this bundle amazing mm. price amazing price let me just set these out so you're getting your um two meters of three meters Sorry, two metres of cream, metre and a half of school grey, and then these beautiful fat eights of fabric. Now, this collection is from Moda. It's called Into the Woods, and it's absolutely gorgeous. It's brand new to us today. There are so many beautiful fabrics. Now, we are going to feature a mega bundle. Oh, these are lovely. Mm, are nice. These phases of the moon. Now, I've got to tell you, when Kat, our producer, was um, fanning out the fabrics of the mega bundle, she straight away sort of stopped and clutched her hands and went, oh, what are these made of? They feel incredible. And we touch a lot of fabric, um, touch a lot of fabric every single day. And this feels exceptional. Mm -hmm. Doesn't it, Amanda? I wonder if Moda's up to their game. Because yes, it does feel nicer than other collections I've worked It is with. really yeah. beautiful. These golds in the collection are amazing, mm. aren't they? Yeah. They're so soft in terms of the colour of the gold as well. That... That's lovely, isn't it, though? I want metres and metres of that. I want metres and metres of all of this. Aren't they lovely? That, 
I know I'm preempting. We're doing we're doing Mega Bundle later, but that for dressmaking. If you're quick, bob on the internet, get yourself a few meters of that for dressmaking. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Sorry, Amanda, you're having a few problems so, with your yes, mic, I, then, I, weren't I, I you? Don't know if that's... <laughs> I could a hear blessing. your answer. <laughs> Rather than having my uh, high speed. Oh, <laughs> got a little question. Morning, Stuart. What size is the quilt, please? So the quilt is um, approximately 54 by 67. It's a three quarters measurement, but if you round it up, 54 Understood. by 67. 54 by so 67. It's just a nice Thanks, Amanda. sort of lap size, sofa it size, is. sort of single bed. Yeah. Coverlet. Single bed yeah. topper, yeah. back of the sofa, snuggle quilt. Yes. I'm all about the snuggle. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's lovely. Yeah, beautiful size. And also, actually, as well, I know Amanda's very generously offering that 25% off long arm services. Everybody who buys this kit will get that thank you card with the code. But also, that size of quilt is very manageable in your domestic sewing mm. machine if you want to quilt it at home yourself that's a yeah and i think with the geometric um layout it mm. would be easy to just ditch quilt yeah. or just cross i don't know if i'd cross hatch but something following the chevrons yeah. absolutely absolutely nice we're getting good quilting tips this morning because you're a long arm quilter yes. i'm and a long arm quilter yeah. and um you know but also it's something we often miss out isn't it how we might quilt yes our yeah. quilt yeah. so looking forward to all of that i'm going to get through these as quickly as i can i want to give amanda as much time as possible in the hour there are housekeeping things to do but we'll get through them as quick as we can all these beautiful fabrics included um perfect if you want a kilt that you can just get cut and go it's all there for you the scales of print are fabulous you've got some smaller scale prints i mean how beautiful these are just such lovely prints there are owls there are butterflies and moths those are beautiful, aren't they? I'm kind of teasing these because we do have these by the half meter as well. But you're getting 20 fat eights within this kit. They're all cut in house by us, um, especially for the quilt kit. It is very special. Now, the design, Amanda, was originally in today's quilter, am I it right? It was, yes. I was asked to create uh, a quilt to showcase um, uh, Liberty Winterbourne range of fabrics Lovely. so the sample quilt that I created for the magazine has actually got I think 32 fat eights in it because they wanted to show every single fabric in the collection right. so that just shows you how but it's it could the same work size. exactly the same size um, it just shows you how, how different it can look mm. depending on what fabric you choose and of course you'll get this pattern as well to keep to reuse let me just show you oh look at that i mean totally different look yeah yeah this would work with any fabric range wouldn't I it i think so yes yeah. design yeah how? i think if you've got a minimum of, of perhaps 20 fat heights mm -hmm. um you could work upwards to to 32 yeah um yeah, yeah it would work absolutely sky's the limit beautiful such a beautiful design now you can buy the pattern on its own if you'd like it's 9.99 and check this out you're still going to get the 25 percent off long arm services um from amanda i think that's amazing is that a mistake no no, no. <laughs> just wanted to say thank you for uh, for everyone's support God bless you bless you your quilting is gorgeous, it's by a the nice, way. That one is <laughs> Lazy Paisley. Oh, gorgeous. And this one, I believe, is Dancing Leaves. Um, but yeah, I thought because the quilt, because the piecing's quite geometric and angular, mm -hmm. sometimes it's nice to go for a soft sort of flowing design just to counteract that. Top tip. Um, and in a, a neutral so that you yeah. don't actually note, well, you still see your piecing. You don't just see quilting. Absolutely gorgeous texture. Just looks great, doesn't it? We've had a picture in actually from Margaret that we're going to share with you. <gasps> I quilted Margaret's for ah, her. <laughs> and that looks like Margaret's extended that to she, four. Yes, so it's it's flexible. Uh -huh. um, you will Lovely have. Lovely work, Margaret. Um, with the 32 fat height bundle, yep. there would be a lot more fabric left over, so she was able to extend it. I, I don't know if that was a double quilt size. So actually, um, if people wanted to, because we do have the fabrics available by the half metre in the 10 o'clock show, you could buy the kit, 
buy some extra half meters. Yeah, and then just scale up your pattern. Great bigger. Yeah. Great. Perfect. Perfect. Well, this kit is brand new today. It's an amazing price for a really good sized quilt. $69.99 for those 20 fat eights. Brand new collection here at Sewing Street. This is a fabulous, fabulous charcoals, greys, and this soft soft mustard gold and then all that lovely coordinating fabric plus 25 percent discount on your long arm quilting too and the pattern amanda i'm bowled over <laughs> i'm gonna hand over to you okay where do we start right so we're going to you'll see that um each uh braid strip is identical um we've just got two that way up and one turned um into reverse yeah. but uh, the, the piecing is identical so it's a great uh, quilt for you know batch cutting and um, chain piecing great we're going to start friendly it is yes because you're only even though it looks sort of dramatic i suppose um they are only squares and rectangles it's nice. only the way that we piece them that gives that more complicated effect yeah it looks hard but it's just squares and rectangles. It's just squares and rectangles. So we're going to start off with three nine patch blocks. Now I chose um, the spotty fabrics in the light and the medium grey as my contrast. Can but I you, ask you, yeah. could, uh, can you mix and match? Can you, you can. place fabrics where you want? So, yeah, so I think the only constant is the um, school grey mm -hmm. accent squares you, you do need to, to keep those just to keep that sort of symmetry going but yeah you could choose any fabric from your collection in the fat eighth bundle um, you should have enough of all of the fabrics left to choose your favourite ace so what yeah you, you could perhaps uh, what are we three you could bring that middle one in you know one two three one two bring that one in yeah. or whatever you want great yeah. have um, a play around to start yeah, with yeah so um, we're going to start with a nine patch and because all three are identical you can actually strip you know sort of piece a long strip of grey a long strip of the spotty one and, and just piece and then and splice then up, yeah. but just um, because I think I got carried away. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the individual squares trying to be clever. When um, you're doing your cutting and your yeah. piecing, Amanda, can I ask, do you tend to do one block at a time or strip piece of the lot? I and... tend to batch quilt. So if I've got, um, if I've got, say, uh, well, any, any quilt really, I'll just get some big, um, you know, A4 size envelopes mm. and I'll batch cut each block. Um, and then just fill the envelope, number the envelope, yeah. and then you can just grab one and know that you've, well, hopefully got everything that you need. <laughs> yeah. Don't drop it, don't yeah, sneeze. Yeah. Um, that you've got everything that you need uh, in there and um, it's just quick in it, you know, so when you've got a spare 15 minutes, yeah. just nip on the sewing machine Definitely. and get a block done. Um, so yeah, I do. Plus as well, um, I think sometimes if you start cutting and then put it away and come back to it, you can forget where, it, well, I can mm. forget where I was. Um, and that way as well, you know that perhaps if you haven't quite got enough fabric, you've still got a chance of getting it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I've got a bad habit of using out of print fabrics haven't and we then all? having to pay for shipping from across the globe yeah. just for a, a fat quarter or something. It's lovely having all of the fabrics that it you is, need in yeah. the kit, isn't yeah. it? You know, you can yeah. just get straight to it. Yeah. Um, simple cutting. Really simple cutting. And then straight ahead. Yeah. And so once you've got your squares okay. all set out. So square set out, I'm not going to do that because that I think perhaps is quite basic. Yep. And there's other things that I think will be of more use to, cool. to, to people. So here's the completed nine patch. So all I've done, I've pressed, da uh, I've done it that way around, haven't I? I've pressed um, seams to the dark side and then just pressed into the middle. Cool. You can press wherever. The fabrics aren't sheer. It doesn't particularly matter. You just do what you feel okay, great. comfortable with. So there's our starting nine patch. Make and three then, of those. Tick. Yes, obviously, yeah, just <laughs> make three of those. And you're going then to cut out, um, I think you need 45 of the, the school grey squares. Mm -hmm. And then obviously um, three lots of 20. Yep. Sorry, uh, three lots of 10 mm -hmm. of the... Um, 
fatite rectangles. So, and when you're cutting out your fabrics, in terms of how much fabric have you got, do you need to be careful? You need to be careful. Just take the tiny slither off mm -hmm. for straightening your edges. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, just keep it as close as you can to the edge of the fabric. Gotcha, gotcha. Because sometimes, I must admit, when I'm straightening up the edge of fabric, I can be a little bit, shall we say, generous? Yes. And then live to regret it yeah. later. Yeah. So I try and rein myself in now and just cut the merest slither. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good. But okay. you've got enough to be able to, you know, sort of pick and choose as far as your, your contrast squares go. Okay. Um, but yeah, just keep it nice and tight to the, the top. Um, so we'll just set the uh, nine patch to one side for a second. We've got, or we're going to now, divide the fabrics and the, um, you'll see, you know, sort of from the cover image how I've set mine out. Mm -hmm. uh, it's entirely up to you. you. You don't need to do it. I've done, you know, sort of pales, darks, mediums and sort of ochre mm -hmm. colour. You can jumble it up, it'll still look great, whatever's mm. pleasing to your eye. Mm. Um, but I chose to put mine into to four bundles. The the ochre coloured ones, we're just going to leave plain, plain rectangles. Mm -hmm. The same with the darks. The lights and the mediums need to have these accent squares attached onto the end. Okay. So, shall I move those out of the way? I feel a bit of chain piecing coming oh, on. Yeah, th this is the way you can uh, <laughs> whack the radio on or, or watch YouTube. Yeah. Um, and um, yeah, just foot pedal down. to the metal. Yeah. yeah. So um, yeah, one patterned rectangle and one plain accent square, end to end. And you can pop a pin in if oops, something's falling. Oops. All right. Um, pop a pin in if you want but it's, it's a short straight seam. Yeah. And we're just gonna sew with a quarter inch seam just to join those two together. How important is it to be accurate with your quarter inch? I, I think it is, I mean, you can, I've bought my own little foot because <laughs> that's how I am. <laughs> you get used to it, don't yeah. you? Um, if, if you're unsure about the setting on your, your machine, if you perhaps get um, three, two and a half strips of uh, fabric, sew it together and then just measure it mm. um, when it's uh, sewn together and then just keep tweaking your needle position until you get your accurate quarter of an yeah, inch. Yeah, unfortunately you can't just rely on putting the quarter inch foot on, no. can you? Because it depends, is your fabric poking out a bit, under, right on the edge? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think if whatever seam allowance you've chosen, um, as long as you stick with that all the way through, it will come together. Okay, cool. Um, so, yeah, it, it's not absolutely, you know, sort of... This is beginner-friendly, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, Details on screen there for Amanda Little's Ombre French Braid Quilt Kit. It's beautiful, isn't it? So lovely in those shades of deep charcoal, grey and ochre mustard. It's brand new today. Almost half the stock of this bundle on its own has gone now. Remember, you're getting full instructions from Amanda Little. You're getting 20 fat eights of this beautiful new fabric collection from Moda. You're getting your ivory and your school grey solid as well. Is that enough for binding and the little yes. inner border? Yes, yeah. so wow. the, the accent um, border sash piece and the binding will all come out of, of that uh, Fabulous. Yeah. So we really don't need to buy anything else apart from batting and a backing. Yeah, um, and I think you'll get by with a full-sized or twin-sized what if you're buying by the bag. Yep. Um, and two and a half meters of standard width backing fabric Great. one and a half meters if you're using a, a wide width fab we have actually got some bundles of backing fabric if you want to have a look on pre-order have a little look so where are you getting to right so we've pieced that one so we're going to press to set the seam and then we want to press the seams towards the patterned fabrics towards the braid strips why is that it just, when we start to piece it together, yep. all your seams will intersect really nicely. Ah, gotcha. Plus, when you're sewing, all your seams are going to be facing towards you, so you can motor through when you're not flicking seams. Sleeping. Oh, that is such <laughs> yeah. a good tip. Yeah. So, That's such um, a good tip. There's so, a good, I like it when there's a reason behind what uh, you're yes. doing. 
Because um, we often we'll just go to the dark side, yes, which is fine. Yeah. But that yeah, is helpful. Yeah. I think it's the same as well with the long arm quilting. Um, everyone th or lots of people um, used to believe that uh, cotton thread was the only way to go. It, it's not the case. Some no. of the, especially the trilobal polyester. I use glide all the time. I use for glide. Mine. Yeah, you? it's yeah. fantastic. It is yeah. really good. Yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yes, if oh, I were trying to, let's just get <laughs> tea and just chat. <laughs> so um, yeah, if I were you know sort of doing these for real, I would have just chain pieced and ended up with like a pretty little bunting nice. effect. <laughs> so I'll just snip through. You could make bunting out of this set, but you I could. think it's better. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful to see you on Sewing Street. Welcome to the family, Amanda. Oh, thank you. That's from Karen in Greater Manchester. Yeah. Oh, how, how often have you been on? I came on, uh, so I used to work for Sewing Quarter yeah. um, behind the scenes. And um, I think I was on a couple of times um, with John and I did a Christmas quilt. Mm -hmm. And then... Um, I came on last June when it was John's birthday. Oh yeah, and I actually demoed a mode. A, a did you leave print. out of a cake? I, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I didn't, although John was scoffing cake. I bet he was. I asked him a question and he couldn't answer because he <laughs> just had a huge mouthful. Oh, well, that's, uh, that bodes well for next week. It's my birthday oh, next it? week. Oh, it's Thursday yeah. and I'm here. Yeah. And um, so that bodes very well. Yeah. And I don't want to hear from the gallery that no, we're not getting you a cake. I don't want to hear it. Oh. don't want to hear it. Thank you very okay. much. Good. Yes. Excellent. So all Make of those nice then. Plans. So light ones with accent squares, medium with accent squares, dark as they were, yep. ochre as they were. And if you were doing a different arrangement of fabrics, where you've picked the light and the dark to add your accents, yeah. is it like one side of the braid that you put the accent it's squares on or alternate? Um, if you want to, th there's a page, um, a, a piecing sequence. I okay. can't remember what page. Yeah. There we, that's it there. Yeah. So they're numbered. Oh, I um, see. So as long as you know, sort of replace my fabrics with your fabrics, but stick to that sequence. Great. It will work. That's really yeah. useful. The instructions are fab. Thank you. Really fab. Oh gosh, that's a proper little. That's a proper pattern. A booklet, yeah. Wow. Nice. Thank you. Sorry, I digress. No. <laughs> so I'll just pop these to one side. Oops. This is now where it's important, if you're trying to replicate mine, to just keep glancing back of course. Um, just for the layout. So we're going to take our nine patch and we're going to start with, I think it was an ochre. Of course, if you've never made a nine patch before, um, uh, have a look on YouTube. It's an easy block to piece, but I'm really glad that you're showing us. Oh, so, yes, the, so I apologise to anyone that's not done any quilting, any patchwork before, but because it was so basic, I thought perhaps yeah. the other stages oh, people would sure. be more no, interested in. Totally, totally. Okay, so um, a plain top and bottom, and you're just going to match all the raw edges, pin it. If you want to, you don't need to pin. fabric is cut, Amanda. How, like that, I know that one at the bottom is butterflies, but no, it's cut. It looks sort of art deco, almost architectural. It does, yeah, isn't it? yeah, yeah. And it doesn't particularly matter because you see they're, they're all sort of on slant anyway. So yeah. if your fabric's directional, it, it doesn't matter. It. it won't spoil the look. Yeah. Nice. And breathe. <laughs> you can just relax in because I sometimes look at directional fabrics and think, shall I just yeah. not use this because yeah. I don't want to give myself a headache. Yeah. But these fabrics, this design, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, yeah. I know what you mean. And, and then you, you buy extra and you've got sort of all this fabric lurking, but you then don't know what to do once right. you've finished your original project. Absolutely. Got a message from Alison. My birthday's next Thursday too, oh. Stuart. Alison, let's have a party. Um, hoping for your Bags for Life book and lots of Sewing Street goodies. So does Anybody that knows you... Alison who's watching? That's her birthday wish. Does Good. that make you Aquarius then? Yeah, yes. I'm an Aquarian. Yeah. And then we'll pop yeah. the bottom. Birth so, birthstone amethyst. Amethyst. Yeah. Uh, air sign. 
I think, you know, I remember I, when I was a teenager, I bought this book called The Bad News Zodiac. Yeah. And it was all the stuff they don't tell you about <laughs> your, your star sign, yeah. all the bad stuff, you know. <laughs> I used Just, to love reading my uh, star on a Sunday with a Sunday supplement. <laughs> absolutely. Today's a good day for buying a beige blouse. <laughs> don't get your hair permed. <laughs> Yeah, they're a bit of fun, aren't they? Yeah, obviously, I, yeah, as an adult now, you sort of realise that there's probably not a great deal. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm, I'm it, fascinated but, when yeah. one's done specifically for a person, yeah. you know, on their exact... But, yeah, they're very generic, aren't they? They're yeah. 12, 12 possible days that you're going to yeah. have today. Yeah. Uh, but are you... What star sign are you, Amanda? Capricorn, I was last are month. You? Yeah, yeah. And are you a typical Capricorn? I think I am, yeah. <laughs> what does that mean? Um, I think I'm sort of... stubborn, um, a bit of a control freak. Mm. Um, Brilliant for quilting. I've, uh, perhaps, neat yeah, sort of... And, yeah. Neat and precise, yeah. Uh -huh. um, but sometimes that's not a good thing, is it? You can sort of waste <laughs> a lot of your, your life on picking things. <laughs> So okay, so these are both on now. Uh, I'll move them there, keep on right. shuffling about. Stephen Hawking was a Capricorn, you know. Who was? Stephen Hawking. Was he? Mm? Tiger Woods? Yeah. Elvis I don't, Presley? I'll say Elvis Presley, uh -huh. was it? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> you knew that was. <laughs> so we're just going to press just to uh, get those stitches to sink in. So opposite sides of the nine patch? Opposite sides of the nine patch with the plane to begin with. Yep. And we're going to press the seams towards those braid strips. And if yeah, I were doing those, this, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. If no, I were doing this at home, yeah, I do that all the time. I'm so glad it's not just me. And then I will press, do a That's big press when I've finished. Yeah. That's what I do. Naughty, but it's not naughty. It works. It's <laughs> it good. Does, yeah. Okay. I always say I've got really hot fingernails. <laughs> Who needs an iron? <laughs> But it just especially, I mean, this one's not so bad because as you're piecing, um, you're obviously working with straight cut edges, but if you're on the bias, sometimes perhaps yeah, you your fingernail wouldn't, yeah. Right. Um, okay, so we've got two planes on each side. I'll just check before I go out of sync with the... This colour way would work so well with a lot of like modern colour schemes, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, Because, I mean, silver and grey are like it's the colours. It's quite trendy, yeah. Really yeah. trendy. Um, what else are we after? And I think as well, um, just a very soft, restful, sophisticated yeah. palette. It's easy to live with. I'm just going to tilt that because... It's gorgeous. Details are on screen oh, for the kit, by the way. It's 69.99. Amazing price. Do make sure you check out, won't you? Don't want you to miss them out. Remember, you're getting 20 fat eighths of fabric. You're also getting, those are all cut in house for you. You're also getting um, your two meters of ivory and your meter and a half <coughs> of school gray as well. But all those beautiful brand new mode of fabrics and the feel of them is exquisite. Sorry. And of okay. course your pattern and 25% off long arm quilting. Yes. So what we're gonna do now is take that top piece with the accent square we're going to intersect the seams at that point. And I like to put a pin in just before the intersection mm -hmm. so that it stays put. If you put it after the intersection, you've, you've gone past and probably it's too late. Too late. And then to get this one, I don't know how yep. close they can see. So to get this one lined up, you want the end of that piece there to sit with the that seam as that seam's pushed gotcha. across. So kind of quarter of an inch just over a quarter hand, of an inch just out, past yeah. the seam. And it is worth just to get a nice stripe because when the braid's finished that will be on the bias mm -hmm. and will be a bit stretchy and movable. So it is worth just popping an end pin in mm -hmm. at this stage now just to keep everything proper, you know, sort of square. A message from Penny. It's my birthday next Thursday also. We should we should make a club. There should be a club with a, like a membership <laughs> card, I think. I'm enjoying the show. Always so informative. Thank you, Penny. Penny and Mom, thank you. And happy birthday for next Thursday. Well, please make sure you tune in. We'll have lots of fun. There'll be, there'll be cake. 
There will be cake. There'll be Delphine Brooks, more to the point, um, whose birthday was yesterday. Um, you know, it's, hey, it's the month. January, it's January, yeah, it's where it's the... at. <laughs> I can't wait. Question from Julie for you, Amanda. Yeah. Um, oh, for me, in fact. Okay. What's the email address, please, Julie? No problem. It is um, message the studio, w, studio at sewingstreet.com. Here it is, studio at sewingstreet.com. And you can email us questions, queries, if you want to send in any photographs too. Perfect. Our producer is ready and waiting to take your email. <laughs> so as I'm just approaching this uh, end now, I'm just going to stitch off. These are going to get trimmed um, once the quilt's constructed. Okay. So, so even I, though normally we wouldn't so straight over, you yeah, can keep just going. Go, just go over. It doesn't matter. You don't need to be particularly neat um, with those end pieces. Okay. And then we're just going to do the same on the opposite side. Let's turn that round. So again, just... I'm glad you're demoing this because, I mean, obviously your instructions are really clear and set all of this out, but it... it at this at this moment Sometimes in time, it feels nice counterintuitive. Yeah, because yeah. it's not like other piecing yeah. this. Is I must it? admit, I'm struggling. <laughs> normally, it's because like normally match up the ends and so top yeah. to bottom. I would have the uh, or sort of you know my rough draft, just yeah, checking yeah. that everything's okay. Um, but without a diagram, you know, sort of next to me, I'm having to just keep on. And because some of the fabrics are quite similar. Yeah. Well, to my eyes, you know, sort of when you're looking at all of them. For sure. Um, but you have got that the layout way. diagram in your instructions. Yeah. Let me just show you. You've got this fab um, layout set of layout. Lay lay ah, 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 ah. <laughs> <laughs> this fab layout diagram. <laughs> just really stop and think <laughs> then. Um, which show you where your fabrics are going. Let me just show you that there. You can see that, can't you? Um, which is really, really useful. And of course you could photocopy that, enlarge it, put arrows, put tiny little squares of fabric as well. I do that a lot actually, Amanda. Yeah. I make a little swatch card up, one, two, three, four, to so eight or whatever. Just, yeah. just because once I'm in the thick of it, I stop thinking, I'm in yeah. sewing mode now. Yeah. So those are both attached now. I've just knocked fabric on the floor, Amanda. <laughs> just going to have to do a bit of a tidy up. Just throw, <laughs> that's what I'm like in the studio, throw fabric everywhere. And again, we're going to press the seams out towards those braid strips okay. that we've just attached. So you can Question see for now. both of us from Denise. I'm intrigued. What's the question from Denise? Good morning all at Sewing Street. As I'm relatively new to quilting, I have not sent anything to be long arm quilted. My question is, once the quilt has been pieced, sandwiched and backed, do you complete the quilt, including binding, before you send it away for quilting or return it without binding I'll send it without binding and finish it once it's been quilted and returned. Many thanks, Denise from Wiltshire. Actually, we need to unpack that because there's quite a lot there, which is yeah, not yeah. what you do. Yeah. Okay. So um, I like people to send me their quilt top, their wadding, if they're providing the wadding, uh, and their quilt back in um, three separate pieces. They'll get loaded onto the quilt frame. Backing first, wadding, and then quilt top. So that's the good news. Yeah. You do not need to layer or your based. own quilt. Forget that. Yeah. No basting yeah. spray, yeah. no pins. Yeah. We want a package with your <coughs> quilt top, your wadding, and your backing, three separate, all separate. Yeah, yeah. and uh, in, a, in a perfect world, I don't know if you get this very often, um, four inches all the way around of wadding and... Um, backing fabric because of the the way that the uh, the machine head sits on the track yeah. you, you can't get 
to the edges without bumping into things. So if you can give us that four inches of, of space, it just makes our life so much yeah, easier. On each side. Yeah, yeah. So then, once just to answer the rest of the question, Denise, um, so you send away, or, or your long arm quilter can often provide the batting and the backing fabric, or, or the batting is often comes from the um, long arm quilter. Then the long arm quilter will quilt those layers together and then generally will rough trim the edges and then send you your quilt back. You'll then trim it up and you'll do your bindings. <coughs> Some long arm quilters will also attach the binding for you, certainly on one side, um, for an extra charge if you want. Do you offer a I, binding? I do. Um, so uh, when I send a quilt if back... If you have to. Oh, so yeah, it's a million pound an inch. <laughs> <laughs> she don't like doing it. I tell you, she don't like doing it. Um, yeah, so usually um, I'll trim... Um, <laughs> it's, it's just tedious. I, I, I know, have to, I, I know, I know. Yeah. Um, so uh, yeah, I, I, as a rule, I'll trim the quilt and I'll overlock the edges so that oh, when you get you? it back, nice. it's just all nice and square and contained cool. um, so that you can put your binding on. But yeah, I, I will bind it. It's not yeah. that expensive. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> and there's options. You can have it machined on, like as this one I've machined this one on for speed. Yeah. That one's hand stitched. Front and there's back. different yeah, options. So you'll do the full binding. Yeah, if, wow. if people okay. want me to, yeah. Gail's just asked, can you explain 25% off long arm quilting, please? Is it just for that particular quilt? Is it for a specific quilter? Thanks, Gail, in Blackpool. Yeah. So it's for any quilt that you want to send me. Yep. Um, uh, normally, my... You're the quilter. I, I, I am the, <laughs> <laughs> the quilter. Yeah, so, uh, yes, send me any quilts that you would like me to work on. Normally, my uh, edge to edge quilt fee is £2.50 per square foot, but with the 25% discount, it will be £2 per square foot. T so, to work that um, amount out, if you um, take the width of your quilt and the length of your quilt in inches, times them together, divide them by 144, and then times it by either £2.50 or £2 to see what it would be and what it is. Rough ballpark figure for that size of quilt, that roughly? That size is uh, about £68 normally. Fabulous. Um, but obviously cheaper with the, um, with the, the discount. discount. So that's £2.50 yeah. per square foot. That's two fifty. yeah. Fab. Um, I think I am, because I work from home, yeah. I've got no real, you know, it's only sort of heat, light, insurance. I can sort of keep the costs. Teas, biscuits. Yes, yeah. <laughs> In my house it is. <laughs> Um, yes, there ain't so, no tea and biscuits, yeah. nothing gets done, I'm sorry. Um, Hope that's answered those questions. Any yes. more, email in, because right. this grey is such a fabulous little extra. It's not a little extra, it's a big extra. It's, I, I think it's a good, uh, but yes, so uh, any quilt uh, that they want to send me. Any quilt, so it could be a um, Super King. I can only go to 90, my machine's okay. only 10 foot, gotcha. so I can go to 94 wide, yep. but any length. Any length. Amazing. Great. Your code comes in your pattern, okay? There's an extra like little thank you card from Amanda and uh, it's got your code on it and that's all you need to use. Brilliant stuff. So where are we at, Amanda? Okay, so we're going to add on now the next um, unaccented plain, plain strip. Yep. And to get that to line up accurately, we're just going to measure three inches from the end mm -hmm. of the one that's already attached. And again, that, it's not essential, but it will keep all your end, you know, so when you come to trim, it yes. just makes life a lot, um, a lot easier. So we're just going to place that one. And are we sort of doing like to like colours? So we've got like a gold side yes, so and a dark side? I, um, I've kept gold, light, medium and dark, but you can, you know, sort of just just play with yeah. them. Um, yeah, perhaps I should have uh, mentioned that before I started. Once they're, they're all um, cut, you know, just sort of spread them out on a surface and just play about, mm. you know, sort of stand back, squint. Mm. Mm -hmm. um, uh, take, take a photo and then convert it into black and white grey scale mm -hmm. and then you'll see your, your values. Great. Um, yeah, but no, you, you can do whatever you want at this this stage. Um, I've just tried to go with, to, to get that sort of gradient effect. 
So we're just going to whiz through with these. Now don't forget, if you want to get your kit, uh, details are on screen. You get 20 fat eights of the beautiful brand new Moda fabric. You're getting a metre and a half of school grey, two metres of ivory, and those fantastic quilt instructions from Amanda Little. You're also getting that 25% discount on long arm quilting services, edge to edge by Amanda. Uh, which is brilliant. Love these fabrics. Look at the phases of the moon. That is such a cool fabric. Love these ferns as well. That fern print. I could just have a whole bolt of that. It's sensational, isn't it? I'm going to show you a mega bundle in the next hour, actually, where you can buy half a metre of all of those fabrics. That might just find its way into my basket today. It is beautiful. Um, and also those fabrics are available by the half metre too. You've got a wonderful selection. There are a few that have the butterflies on, which was one of the ones that Amanda was using just a second ago. I just think that's absolutely stunning. Don't worry about direction because actually, you know, at the end of the day, your rectangles are going to sit at an angle on your quilt. So um, whether you've cut that away or, in fact, whether you've cut that away, it really won't make a difference. Such relaxed quilting. Now, a so, question for you, Amanda. Does Amanda choose the quilting design or how do you decide for yourself? Are there rules as to choosing designs? That's a really good question. So, uh, usually, um, a lot of my um, customers um, are face to face. So, they'll come into my studio, um, I'll fire the machine up, and we can just browse through pattern after pattern. Those that are doing it remotely, I get lots of people, especially since all the, the, the pandemic mm -hmm. um, posted them to me. Mm -hmm. I send them a link to a website that I use for um, the edge-to-edge -edge patterns, and you can filter them on um, on themes. So you could have, you know, children's or holiday, sport, feathers. Mm. Um, Leaves hours and, and hours of fun. Uh, is, yeah, of, of just get scrolling it's a rabbit hole. Oh, it definitely is, yeah. So then they can pick maybe, I, I suggest three patterns. Mm -hmm. Send me the quilt. When I see the quilt uh, and then compare the patterns that they've, that they've picked, I can sort of advise them, you know, sort of, oh, this one's very tight or perhaps... Um, if you've got a very sort of geometric angular um, quilt and if someone's wanting a geometric pattern, yeah. you've got to be really careful that your piecing's pristine yes. because if it just goes out slightly, your eye will just get drawn to yeah, it. Yeah, and it can make your piecing look wonky, yeah, can't it, yeah, the wrong. Yeah. Yeah. So sometimes it's best to go with the opposite of, you know, sort of a straight angular quilt, mm -hmm. go with some circles or some curves Swirls. just to, to soften it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. great advice yeah. there. So, yeah, there are, I wouldn't say there are rules as such, but there are definitely sort of helpful guidelines that mm -hmm. to marry the right quilting design to the right fabric or the right piecing pattern yeah. as well. But your long arm quilter will always help you with that if you need that help and advice. And yeah. as you say, the density of the quilting as well. Yeah. And, and sometimes I find, you know, if um, the if the piecing, it, it, you know, sometimes you get a quilt top, which is, shall we say, a little bumpity. Yeah, not quite as flat as you'd like it to be. A more dense quilting pattern will really help to flatten that down. Mm -hmm. Whereas if the quilting pattern is very loose and very open, you could easily miss those high spots yeah, and then they'll end up looking even bumpier on the quilt. Mm. So it's, sometimes it's about looking at the individual quilt top yeah. and not just the design, but saying this quilt top could do with quite a dense design. Yeah. Yeah. So. so we would just carry on then in the sequence, accented, unaccented, accented, unaccented. Just on opposite sides? Just on opposite sides until... <laughs> We get Ta -da! <laughs> blue Peter. Yeah. Okay, so that's what you're aiming for. Three Fab. three strips. Mm -hmm. And what we need to do now is to get the um, top triangles on. 
you can see there's a triangle on the top of each one and then a separator band down each side. Got you. Okay. So to do that, I'll whip it back around to this side. It's a very sort of fancy looking design, but I mean, when you see how it's pieced together, it's it is really, really simple. Is yeah. strips and squares. Yeah, mm. yeah. So, um, all, you, all your measurements as well, by the way, well. are in the pattern. Fab. Half square triangle. Yep. And we're going to put one on that side and one on that side. Now, to get a perfect crossover, because what you want is to, to maintain that quarter inch seam there that so that when you sew it into the rest of the quilt you're not sort of chopping the top off your your accent square absolutely so to get that little i mean i could have um i would trim those dog ears off it's mm. just me being lazy so to get these triangles to sit nicely you want to mark a quarter inch now i'm using a friction pen it's going to be hidden inside of the quilt mm -hmm. and, and I'm fine with that mm -hmm. but just be careful um, you know sort of using them perhaps on the outside of the quilt mm. um, so yeah mark a quarter inch on the tip of your triangle and then mark two and a half inches from the end of that top braid actually I could do that on that side as well I've never seen this technique Have before, Amanda. So, sometimes it's a struggle. You know, you sort of you, you can put it on. Yeah. You sort of it's a bit of guesswork. About, and and then it's always a bit of a disappointment when you flip it back over and think, oh, I missed mm -hmm. it. <laughs> missed it. Um, so perhaps doing it this way, you've got some exact, you know, yeah. sort of definites to. So you've marked the corner where it's going to cross over. Yeah. So I'm gonna. Let's, um, on. You want that tip, it's probably best if I get this bit on first, you want that tip at the two and a half inch mark there and then this one, turn it over and at that so you just hold it a tiny bit lower, that's it. Is that it? No. Just lift oh, it up oh, again, there we go. but a bit lower, that's it. Okay, Perfect. right. So I see, so that, that little quarter inch mark that you've made. Yeah, which I've, I've done on the wrong slant. But there is your, your quarter inch mark there. Mm -hmm. And so the tip of that grey sits right on that quarter that inch mark, mark there. I got it. And that guarantees you've got a quarter inch overhang. That, yeah, so you've got your quarter inch overhang. Flatten it down because this uh, is on the bias now. Mm -hmm. So this half square triangle is a bit stretchy. Pat it down. Gently, gently. Yeah. And Loving the pattern, by the way. Loads of you have bought the pattern on its own as well as the kit. Um, great design, this, for using up scraps too, I imagine. Yes, yeah. Yeah, good yeah. scrap buster. Because yeah. you could mix and match, like, all your bright scraps or all yeah. of your, you know, all your K-facet fabrics would look amazing in they this. would they would look really nice actually pattern on its own is available 9.99 details are just there on the right hand side of your screen if you want to go for that kit that full kit 20 fat eights the solid gray and ivory and also the pattern as well and remember you're getting 25 percent off long arm quilting services with amanda uh, you can get that too a message from alicia so good to discuss quilting today we, we don't normally have time or someone with such expertise but today we've got amanda thanks for that you're welcome i bought the pattern it would work for a table topper too yes, yes yeah. totally can i ask where you're located Stone, Staffordshire. Oh, Stone's lovely. Junction 14 on the yeah, M6. Yeah, yeah. Actually, sorry. Go on. <laughs> Getting a bit familiar Actually. now. Actually. Um, you did a talk uh, oh, oh, years yeah. and years ago yeah. at Staff's Patchwork and Quilters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Did you come along? I did. You oh, were, no way. You were very entertaining. Oh, yeah. thank yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, completely. Forgot. I remember that. Yeah. I remember that. Yes. Yeah. A question from Simone. Hi, both. Great demo, great presenting. Is there enough fabric in the kit to make the bigger quilt? Thanks. No. No. What you want to do, um, Simone, if you want to make the bigger quilt with like the, the third is choose some half metres 
What do you reckon? Two or three extra half metres and then mix and um, match? Them? There'll be a bit more of that fabric in the... Yeah, uh, so it's either a half metre or a fat quarter bundle. Um, half metre bundle. Yeah. A half metre bundle, you would be able to get two uh, quilts from a half metre bundle easily. Two of the double-sized quilts, um, but obviously you would just need to up your background fabric and yeah. your, your school grey fabric. Yeah. Um, but if you bought the kit, oh, right, you wanted to. then if you maybe bought, I would say, if you bought the kit, if you just wanted to add one extra row of yeah. braids... I think possibly you would be able to do it. Mm. If you if you bought maybe like an, an extra half metre of each of the grey and the ivory, if you bought maybe three extra half metres, then obviously those fabrics would feature more. There'd be a bit more yeah. of those in, but cut them up, mix and match them, yeah. and that should be enough, because yeah. I reckon it would be about... Well, it's no more than a metre and a half of, there, of the um, focus fabric per braid, is it? Okay. So, um, it would be another 13 and a half inches wide. Is, is that what you... No, that's not what you meant, is it? No, no. it's just in terms of how much extra fabric, fabric. you would need um, to do one extra braid. I mean, it wouldn't have the variety. Yeah. I reckon so. I reckon so. Yeah. But no, you can't make the four braids using the kit. There is only enough fabric in there to make the three strips. But I'm just saying, because we've got the extra half metres, you could supplement it. What a truly wonderful demonstration. Thank you so much, Sue and Donald, who are on the Isle of Wight. Oh, Brilliant. Thanks for that. Got about five minutes five left, minutes. Amanda. OK, so I've got one. And you can see there that when that one's on, they'll cross over and will intersect really nicely. So once you've got, I'll do it on this side. Once you've got um, top and bottom braids on. <laughs> this is the last bit, and this is the oh, bit that we might be I'll a little fearful of. Right, so really easy. Place, oops, wafting everything. Place it on a flat surface, pat it, don't stretch it. Mm -hmm. And you're looking for your six and five eighths of an inch. So are you measuring Mark. out from the very centre? Yes, so I'm looking at the centre now of the accent squares without my glasses. Mm -hmm. You've got mine? <laughs> I've, actually, I've got them there, but um, <laughs> I can either see close up are we or... getting to that stage in our life where we're like s passing around the glasses? Oh, it's awful, isn't it? It's, um, <laughs> yes. yeah. Threading it's, a needle yeah. now. If I've got my contact lenses in, I've got no chance. Yeah. Because I can slip my glasses down, you know, the yeah, close-up to yeah. thread a needle. But if I've put my lenses in, it's yeah. game over. Yeah. So, um, yes, six and five-eighths line passing through the centre of, of the accent squares. And that should leave you then pretty much on the edge. I must be off a little bit there. To then, again, it doesn't matter what you use because these are going to be cut off. Okay. Short strokes because these now are on the bias and they will stretch so yeah. rather than just scoring sure. down nice short flicky strokes mark yourself a line and you, you can see pretty much it, it's sort of where they intersect and that will give you a quarter of an inch seam allowance mm -hmm. and then separate a strip and what I would do... Oh, this is a top tip. So there's uh, some suggested measurements if you've got your accurate quarter-inch seam in the instructions. Mm -hmm. Don't cut your strip, but mark your strip. This is a great tip. Quarter it, you know, sort of halve it, quarter it, and then I would match them up um, and I would encourage them to fit. Mm -hmm. Because I think sometimes when you get a quilting for quilting, or, or even at home, if you find that your borders, you know, sort of the centre of your quilt's lovely, but then your borders are a little bit wavy, mm -hmm. a lot of the time it's because you've just got a long strip, stuck it on one end and whizzed down, and it's ended where it's ended. If you've got an absolute, definite, flat-measured strip, mm. it should, should fit. So I've got that strip up against that pencil uh, pen mark. I'm going to quarter of an inch seam down mm -hmm. and after that's finished and I've flipped it open and checked at that point then 
I will take off the zigzag edge. It's the best tip I've will... heard. That's braille. It's it's nice and accurate. Really good. It reduces all sorts of that stretchy movement. You're not sewing a straight of grain strip to a stretchy yeah. edge, which yeah. of course someone's going to stretch yeah. out of shape. Yeah. It's fab. Yeah. Thanks okay. for that. As all a, right. Well, there've been so many lovely tips, yeah. and thank you everyone who's messaged in as well who have really appreciated your expertise and particularly enjoyed sort of your comments and, and, and views on like the quilting and the whole insight. Yeah. Um, uh, Karen had messaged in to say, loving the show this morning, especially the insight into the life of the long arm quilter. <laughs> nice to see you back, Amanda. Thank you. Thanks. It's been fab. Yeah, a a message from Collector in Merseyside. Such a lovely demo. Amanda is very talented. Totally. Got a bit of the owl fabric in a scrap bag and loved it. Got some half meters today. Fab. Don't blame you. Beautiful collection. Beautiful collection. Really quickly as well, we've had a message from Patricia. Hi Stuart, I've just ordered the 680 plus, been waiting for this to come back in. Well done Patricia. I mean we know we know so many people were disappointed when we sold out so fast. That's why we've managed to get the 680 plus back in for pre-order. It'll be delivered mid-Feb and you're getting a £50 credit on your Sewing Street account to spend on whatever you like. Um, it's an absolutely brilliant deal. Uh, do be quick if you fancy a 680 plus because I know we haven't got that much stock of these and they will sell out faster than before I'm certain. You can have five easy pays too. Think of all the sewing joy that you're going to have with that fabulous machine. Amanda, it's been such a joy. Thank, Thank you, you so much. You're back in an hour, I'm aren't back in you? an hour. Put your feet up. Have a little break. <laughs> you know, you won't do that at all, will you? No, I'm doing my part, Max. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. If you've got any more questions for Amanda that you think of in the next hour, get them in. Let's, let's really, let's wring her dry while you're here. <laughs> let's get every bit of knowledge out of you. <laughs> thank you. Lovely, thank you. I'll Thanks see you so soon. Much. Now, remember, the kit that you uh, can buy today is for Amanda Little. Absolutely beautiful ombre French braid kit. You're getting the full instructions. They're fabulous. And also 20 fat eights of that beautiful Moda collection in shades of charcoal, silver, grey, and that beautiful ochre mustard. Backing fabric need to be added in. We've got some backing fabrics on the website if you want to get those. But you are getting your accent strips, your binding, your border fabric as well included. And Amanda very generously has included a 25% discount on long arm quilting services to everyone who purchases the kit or in fact the pattern on its own. So that is just giving and giving. We love you Amanda, thanks for that. Um, now those fabrics are also available by the half meter and we're going to have a bit of a look at those fabrics now actually. Lots of you have got the bundle in your baskets and I think it would be really worth us having a little look. So rather than going to a break now, we're actually just going to, we're keeping going. I tell you what it is, it's that 10 degrees this morning, it's like winter's over. It is now spring. Um, I am never going to wear knitwear again. I am. I'm lying. <laughs> but I am full of the joys of spring. This fabric collection is stunning. Now, the, of course, we were all bowled over by the beautiful designs, completely bowled over by the colour palette, but also none of us were prepared for the feel of this fabric which is absolutely out of this world it is so and the thing is we touch a lot of fabric we, we know our fabrics here and i'm not even sure i'll be perfectly honest with you i'm not even sure why but it is so smooth yeah it's got the most amazing <coughs> smooth texture it's really beautiful, really beautiful. Oh, quick question from Tracy New Newman I want to answer. Hi, gorgeous Stuart. Thank you very much. You had me at gorgeous. Um, quick question about the Elna 680 Plus. Can you quilt a king-sized quilt comfortably on this machine? Okay, let me just tackle that really quickly. I've quilted on a domestic sewing machine. Now, you've got a really good throat space on that machine. Okay, 
The sewing space is 120 by 210 millimetres, so it's a really a decent space. Um, I have quilted king size quilts on domestic sewing machines comfortably. Now, does that mean that everyone will be comfortable? No, because it does depend how you're quilting. One of the things that really holds a lot of us back and frustrates us when we're quilting anything bigger than a, you know, a large cushion, if we're using a walking foot, is having to turn the quilt. It's fine, it's easy, it's comfortable if you're sewing from top to bottom or from side to side, because if you're going top to bottom, even on a king size quilt, 120 inches wide, that's a pretty massive quilt, you've only ever got to get half of it under your machine, you've only got to get to the centre. Okay, so if you're going top to bottom, no biggie. If, however, you want a walking foot around a two inch square that happens to be in the middle of that king size quilt, you've got to turn that king size quilt four times to get around that two inch square. And what if you're doing that on all of them? So that's when having the ability to free motion quilt comes into its own because then if you're free motion quilting around that two inch square you can sew down one side across up and across and you haven't turned that quilt at all so the thing to get comfortable with is free motion quilting because if you can free and that's only a two inch run okay it's not a long line to sew and if you try sewing straight lines with a with a darning foot you'd be amazed how good you are promise you, try it, practice it, you'll get there. That opens up a world of possibilities. And now, yes, you can quilt comfortably a king size quilt on your 680 plus. More on that later. Now, I've just, I've already just fallen in love with this fabric here. I'm going to do this a lot, actually, because that is stunning. And now I need to let you know this bundle, you're getting half a metre free. It's available on split pay. We've got less than 15 available already. This is flying out the door. If you buy multiples, and some of you do have multiples in your basket, they are going to come pre cut this is a pre-cut bundle okay of half meters so if you buy two of these bundles you are going to get one bundle two bundles and they'll be split okay just keep that in mind but hey i don't blame you for wanting a meter of each of these a message from diane is this is my mother-in-law diane i'm kidding my mother-in-law is called diane no she's not in greater manchester hi Stuart. i got the 680 plus and i've made two double quilts and made six lap quilts for my grandchildren I love this. since when diane you're a machine wow that's amazing wow yeah i mean the thing is the right tool and suddenly your joy your productivity your results just reach for the stars it's fab i'm so pleased for you it really does show the difference having the right machine the right tools for the job make just improves everything about it the quality of the stitch actually but also your mood while you're sewing your joy your pleasure if you're struggling you know with your machine that you've got now and it's not not doing it for you it's struggling with bulky seams you don't have the throat space in your machine to maneuver what you want to maneuver it doesn't have the stitch range or the foot range maybe you haven't got the walking foot the darning foot the all those extras a knee lift i mean my goodness me i had a conversation with delphine brooks a couple of weeks ago and Delphine had never had a sewing machine with a knee lift before. Now she's like, I want um, the knee lift for everything. She is on it. Yeah, and it just goes to show, um, Delphine of course has been sewing for a very long time, just discovered the knee lift and is completely sold on it. So, you know, the more you know. So this mega bundle, um, less than 15 available and lots of you are actually multi-buying this bundle. It is incredible, isn't it? Now there are 20 different fabrics in this collection. You're getting 10 meters in total. 
10 meters a mode of fabric for 142.31. You're not paying for 10 meters, of course. You're only paying for nine and a half. You're getting one of the, the nicest one for free, whichever that one is that you pick. There are fabrics in there that I would happily buy a bolt of. There are other fabric. I know you see like these fabrics right here. I would keep those in my stash. I would, you know, I'd want them, I'd use them, but I'd want them in my stash forever because I could use those in half the quilts I make in some form. So beautiful. And then there are fabrics which I instantly want to make bags out of, really feature. I mean, a bag flap made in that fabric is stunning. I think dressmaking would look incredible. You're paying seven pounds and eleven pence per half meter, taking into account that half meter that you're getting free. Now you just don't pay that for mode of fabrics, do you? And this this one, I mean, we know mode of fabrics, we love mode of fabrics, but this feels exceptional. It feels exceptional. Um, there's some wonderful prints. I want to show you this one. This one I just think, oh, dressmaking, dressmaking is stunning, absolutely lovely. Um, you've got that gorgeous print with the owl on, check this out. It's three different colourways. If anyone's already had this fabric and made anything, if you felt this fabric and you can just share with us, we need some backup. I feel like I'm being a bit strange, keep stroking it but it really does feel so beautiful. How cool is that fabric? What about um, a Roman blind in that fabric? Am I ticking boxes now? Qatar producers just go, whoa. <laughs> it's pretty rare, it's pretty rare. Um, that is absolutely lovely. And then you've got the um, butterfly, prints as well absolutely gorgeous cut up small they have that kind of art deco -y look architectural look almost you could fussy cut those um, create them in a border or maybe feature uh, squares within your quilt these kind of acorn leaf oak leaf and acorn uh, designs lovely gorgeous lovely this soft ochre mustard it really is beautiful I was thinking earlier on it's almost the color of English mustard powder if you know what I mean I know that's not necessarily the the, the greatest comparison but in terms of the actual color that's what it looks like to me um, again that one a bolt of that please a bolt of that with the ochre, stunning, isn't it? That's the whole collection, 20 different fabrics. And I, I hope you'll agree, it's got a really elegant, classy, modern, but also if you had a very traditional home, this would not look at all out of place, but it would definitely add a sort of chic, modern, smart look. The greys, the yellows, very nicely gender neutral as well. It's not very feminine. It's not very masculine. It's a really nice neutral range, but the colours, the designs, absolutely stunning. Remember, with that mega bundle, you are making a saving. You're saving the price of half a metre, 749, which means that then if you take that discount off and then find out your price per meter it's coming out at seven pound eleven pence a half meter fabulous less than 15 pound a meter for mode a brand new collection it's absolutely gorgeous it is absolutely beautiful if you are just joining us the big news today remember is that the elna 680 plus is available for pre-order from today we actually we were 10 minutes into the first show of the day and the producer came running in and lifted the machine up we'd had the word we'd had the email and uh, it went upon the counter you can pre-order the machine today it will be delivered mid-february you're putting your name on it it's yours, okay? We're also giving you five split pays, if you'd like them, of 249.80. And 
we're also giving you a £50 credit to your Sewing Street account to spend in March as our thank you. Now, it's not a, you can have one or the other. You get £50 credit to your account to spend in March and you can have five split pays. It's not, you can have £50 if you don't choose the split pay option. You get both. Or you don't have to take the split pay, of course. That's entirely up to you. But um, yeah, you get the £50 anyway. We're just going to force £50 on you. Have it. Spend it on fabric. <laughs> but I mean, lovely. I, I promise you, you won't need to buy any extra feet for your sewing machine. You get a walking foot. You get four different options on darning free motion foot. And that's what I was talking about earlier on. Um, let this be the year that you improve, try, tackle, master free motion quilting. Once you've got that under your belt, you'll be quilting everything in sight. But also great for dressmaking, great for home decor. Now, let's go through half metre fabrics. Let me show you. Where would you like to start? Mmm, beautiful. The moon, the phases of the moon. Now, I really ought to have a packet of Jaffa Cakes next to me. Full moon, half moon, total eclipse. Do you remember? <laughs> I love that advert. That is gorgeous. Now, you could just frame that. <laughs> Beautiful. I do think this would be beautiful for bag making. It's also great as a feature print. You could use this in a border. You could add embellishments, beads or metallic thread would look amazing on this too. 749 for a half metre and it'll be cut off the bolt for you. So you decide however much you want. If you want a metre and a half, just order three units. Now this comes in a beautiful dark grey, a really sort of charcoal. Um, stunning. It's still got that little bit of ochre in it, which I think is divine. Um, absolutely beautiful. If you're making a maybe a sofa quilt, maybe you're making Amanda's ombre quilt, a few accent, a few, <laughs> Amanda's a quilt. Um, maybe you want some accent pillows to go on the sofa. This would be ideal, wouldn't it? Maybe with a nice sort of ochre yellow um, cord, piping cord around the outside or, or piping. That would look so lovely. And then a lighter grey too. All of these are stunning, aren't they? They're a lovely, modern, sophisticated, smart. To, and also, you know, mixing this then with the fern leaves, with that all over floral, it's, it's just a little bit different. It is a little bit different. It's a really smart sort of decorator fabric. Good for all ages. This would work. I mean, this colourway, these designs, teenagers' bedrooms, absolutely gorgeous. Now, what about the owls? They're another of my favourites. Big owl. The, ch the deep charcoal grey. This is stunning. Now, this one, I straight away thought Roman blinds. That would look so beautiful. And I'm just, yeah, just thinking of that. You know, those folds in a Roman blind. Absolutely gorgeous. And I get asked a lot, you know, can I use these fabrics for um, blinds, curtains, light upholstery? And the answer is absolutely yes, you can. I mean, for things like light upholstery um, and for curtains, I would interface them. I would perhaps use an interlining as well to create more of a kind of, you know, opaque, Blackout lining would work too, but um, you know, absolutely, these designs would work. These fabrics would work for for those applications too. This is the uh, big owl in charcoal. Big owl. I've just renamed the fabric. Seven forty nine for a half meter. Cut off the bolt, especially for you, of course. So if you are making that Roman blind and you need a meter and a half, just buy three units. It's mid grey. This has a kind of, oh, this is lovely. This is lovely. I, I love the um, 
the sort of, I've been calling them sort of silhouette florals. It's been a big trend in the last year. And it's this rather, like this fabric here, rather than the sort of very detailed, it's almost like the silhouette. And you've got that with the tree branches and the blossom in the background. It's very, very on trend. Now, don't forget that Amanda mentioned earlier on that you can use standard width fabric to back your quilt. You could back your quilt with this, two and a half metres, Amanda recommended, two and a half metres of the fabric. Um, make your quilt reversible. And if, especially if you're going to have it long arm quilted, the back, the front, they're going to both look stunning. Why not put something really beautiful on the back? Do a lovely job on that binding, hand sew the, the binding to the back, and then you've got a fully reversible quilt with this stunning design. That is beautiful, isn't it? Uh, the final owl is the light owl. We've got a barn owl that's moved into one of our barns and um, Charlie was getting some straw down for bedding up the goats the other day and the owl got rather a shock and then Charlie got rather a shock because the owl flew <laughs> straight out towards him. Um, that is really beautiful, isn't it? Stunning. Again, a Roman blind in that. It's just lovely, isn't it? And it's got a lovely freshness to it. Really lovely freshness to it. You can maybe put a little bit of um, silver braid, you know, like silver grey braid along the bottom. That would be really nice. Love it. Now, we need to jump to the fern prints because they're going to sell out any moment. And I want to give you a chance just to see them uh, before you make your decision. Now, the fern prints come in two colourways. Let's go with the yellow, the, that ochre. Oh, that's a lovely fabric. Now, again, that's got a home deck look to it as well, hasn't it? I'm thinking, what about a stool or a chair covered, recovered, either a loose cover or if it's a stool, a lot of stools, you can literally just kind of take the fabric over, staple around the lower edge and then put some gimp braid around the bottom of the... Um, stool just to cover the staples or you can use like upholstery pins all the way along the bottom. It's a quick freshen up for piece of furniture that would suddenly make it fresh, modern. It's very JL. Do you know what I mean? Very JL. Very JL. Love that. That high street stool. <laughs> Bless him. Our director, Jesse, was going, JL, JL, I'm not JL. Morning, Stuart. Loving all your ideas. Fabric isn't just for quilting. And you're so right, it isn't. There's so many more applications. Dressmaking, accent pillows. I love making bedding. Um, a lot of my bedding is stuff that I've made. Things like pillow shams, um, bed skirts, dust ruffles, or even just taking ready-made bedding and then adding things like a bound edge, especially if you've got something like an Oxford pillowcase, you can put a little trim around that outside edge of a fabric just to freshen it up or just to make it look more expensive, more kind of just fitting with your room or adding a little binding along the lower edge of a ready-made bed skirt or dust ruffle. That's a really nice touch. This grey fern, again, absolutely stunning. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yellow fern only has three metres left in stock, by the way. That's this one about to run out. The charcoal grey one, a little bit more stock, but very popular. Very, very popular. It's a brand new collection for us. It's a bumper day. <laughs> gorgeous there's so much going on now can we do what do you want to do let's do yeah a little these are gorgeous <laughs> these ones I just think instantly think dressmaking but also of course home decor really lovely should we go dark charcoal first um that's beautiful isn't it wild stems <laughs> through the woods gorgeous isn't it and it's that same kind of silhouette leaf and stem so there isn't the detail it's about that contrast between the background and the designs simple 
piping around a cushion or if you were using this for loose covers um, you could put piping covered piping cord between the seams that will not only reinforce those sort of um, heavy traffic areas like the the arms of, of a sofa but they also they reinforce the seams they accent the seams as well and create a bit of contrast now there's a mid gray the mid gray doesn't have any of the yellow ochre in it so this is completely monochrome this time mid grey background deep charcoal leaves and stems and then that little accent of white almost like little cotton balls aren't they thank you by the way everyone who's messaged in today it's been really lovely to get questions questions and reviews as well um I know that Collector in Merseyside had already um, nabbed a bit of fabric. She'd had a bit of this fabric in a, in a mixed pack and then had bought some more half metres today. Uh, loves it. Um, also, some of you who've already got Elna 680 Plus machines messaging in to say just how much you're enjoying it. Remember that 680 Plus has come back into stock for pre-order today you'll get your machine mid-feb so just enough time to read the manual and really get to know your machine you'll hit the ground running now this says dressmaking to me so much spring summer absolutely beautiful i'm thinking sussex seamstress what's the lovely dress that mark did they're all lovely, but it'll come to me. It'll come to me. But yeah, I think really lovely, like a sort of shirt waster dress in this would be absolutely gorge. Love it. That's that ochre one. And then the last one in that range or that um, pattern is this cream background. Again, really fresh chair cover for a bedroom. I love a sort of, you know, soft bedroom chair, somewhere to sit and, you know, read a book or just sit and relax sometimes. This recovered, it's very fresh. If you need to give a piece of furniture a bit of an update, I think it would also work really nicely in a dining room. It's got a nice freshness, like a breakfast room or morning room. Really lovely. A bit of sunshine. Now, butterflies next. I'm loving the whole kind of theme around this fabric. It's kind of into the woods. This dark charcoal butterfly fabric, I think, is amazing. Love this sort of geometric line in the background. Gives it a nice modern, a bit architectural element to it. And then you've got these very sort of stylized butterflies within. I love that. You could fussy cut if you wanted to. You could English paper piece and then kind of mirror and reflect would be really gorgeous. It would also be great as a border. So you could kind of selectively cut so that you're kind of making, making the most of a particular element. You know what I mean? Absolutely lovely. Also, those of you who have um, or are thinking about buying Amanda's French braid kit but want to make it bigger, another way that you could make it bigger would be to still do the three braids, put the borders on as they are, but then put a wider, maybe a four or a five inch finished border all the way around. Now, something like the, but well, really, to be honest, any of these fabrics, the owls, the phases of the moon, the butterflies, the wild stems, I think they were called, any of those would work. And I reckon probably you're looking about a metre and a half to two metres of fabric in order to put a reasonably wide border all the way around. That's going to bring the quilt up to um, a really good size, isn't it? Adding an extra maybe eight or ten inches to both of those dimensions. Okay, butterflies on a white background, very pale ecru. There's only five meters of this left. 
It's very smart, isn't it? It's very classy. I think it would make a beautiful bag as well. And I might be inclined, sorry, I might be inclined, you know, like when you have the kind of, you know, along the bottom of a bag. Rather lovely. Just thinking with a nice metal clasp would be gorgeous. Even a tote bag, you know, the humble tote bag would be elevated with these fabrics, wouldn't it? Make a real feature of that. But be quick on that one because there aren't many... Um, uh, meters left of that yeah now there are two more prints to go through we've got this one right here which is the oak leaves and acorns and the chrysanthemums the difference between these two is the background color so a silver gray and a yellow background so this is the ochre yellow background and again recovering a chair or stool some Light upholstery. Curtains would be nice, wouldn't it? Oh, lovely. With a nice smart tie back, edged in grey. Or maybe just make tie backs. I do that sometimes. I've got plain, plain curtains in the kitchen and sometimes I'll make fresh tie backs just to bring a different colour, just to refresh it. For, for tie backs, for tie backs, what I tend to use is I use um, Peltex or um, Decaville, the heavy Decaville, yeah, and cut out the the shape of the tie back, fuse that to the fabric, front and back, maybe bind the edges, something like that. Add a couple of brass rings on either side, and that's it. You know, it's a quick job. It really freshens up. A look or just adds a lovely if you haven't got tie backs for your curtains at the moment it's a nice sort of smart addition now that same design on a sort of silvery gray mid-toned gray background I think is very lovely that's gorgeous isn't it dressmaking would be rather nice that that would be rather nice for dressmaking have you put that kettle on at home you ready for a bicky <laughs> I'm putting out like a plea, anybody with biscuits, bring biscuits. There's one print left and for me it's the, it's the most versatile, it's the one that I could use again and again and again in quilts, especially in these three options, the charcoal, the white and the silver. I could use those again and again and again. There's no other colour brought in there, which means that it could blend with so many others. We'll start with that charcoal, actually. That's that really deep charcoal grey. We had some fabrics yesterday, actually we had some fat quarter bundles today of... Um, Cozy Up, thank you very much, which uh, Wendy Orlando did the quilt with yesterday. It, there is a, a charcoal grey element running throughout that. Now you could use one of those fat quarter bundles, this, maybe some cream solid. That is a beautiful quilt. This would work really well with that range. 749 per half metre and we'll cut it to whatever size you want. Just five metres of that one left. A good, it's a good. I don't like to call fabrics basics, it's a good bread and butter fabric that you'll use again and again. Now, we've also got a lighter grey option Flint. That's a nice name, isn't it? Flint. It'd be a nice boy's name, Flint, wouldn't it? Super. Nice and soft. I like the fact that those dots don't sort of follow a pattern as such. They're just kind of random, blended into the background. Ah, Collector in Modis, I've been in touch. Love your ideas. Do you go with a colour scheme at home or is it all kinds of colour in every room like Cave's house? Good question. Um, well, my favourite colour is rainbow, that is true, but like for example in our sitting room we've got this lovely um, William Morris 
wallpaper, which is like a really deep aubergine purple, you know, deep aubergine, on a quite a creamy gold background. So that sort of sets the tone. Um, but then, of course, I bring in patchwork and throws and things like that. And they sort of vary throughout the year. They kind of feed into those colours, but they're much darker in the in the autumn and winter and then they sort of lighten and brighten so we go kind of deep and moody in the winter and then round about now I'm starting to introduce some of the more Tilda fabrics that just brighten and lighten the look of the room but still blend. Um, bedrooms I tend to use I use a lot of white bedding because then I can put any quilt on it at all and the whole room gets transformed. These would be lovely for pillowcases, wouldn't they? Just bought some very nice new bedding from the white stuff. Um, and uh, that's, yeah, that's going to go with anything. So this last one is the yellow. Lovely. I love that. It's not a bright yellow. It's a really sort of soft, muted gold. We have had a question from Miriam. Thanks for getting in touch. I can indeed. Miriam's asked, where can I get the pattern for the beautiful quilt that's hanging behind me from? So you can either buy a full kit to make that. You've got 20 fat eights and you've got two metres of the cream and one and a half metres of the school grey. That's enough to do the whole of the front of the quilt plus the binding, all right, plus the instructions. Or if you just want the instructions and you're thinking, I've got fabric at home I could make this quilt with, but I need the pattern, you can buy that too. It's $9.99. It's Amanda Little's triple French braid quilt pattern. You also, in either of those options, get a 25% discount code for edge-to-edge -edge long arm services from Amanda, which is fabulous and well worth taking up on. I've seen Amanda's quilting close up. It's divine. Okay, details on screen. Thanks for that question. Hope it helps. We're going to go to a little break now. So grab a cup of tea, grab a bicky. I've got my eye on a chocolate chip cookie that um, I nibbled on before we started and I'm now going to devour the rest of. We'll also have a good look at some tools and that amazing Elna 680 Plus straight after this little break. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Seconds ago, I was brushing crumbs off my sweater. <laughs> when I say I'm going for a biscuit, I really do mean it. Now, welcome back. We've got a little bit of time now just to talk through some of the great features of the Elna 680 Plus, which is available on pre-order from today. We've never done that before. 
Um, but you know what it is? We know how in demand this machine is. We know lots of you have been promising yourself the Elna 680 Plus because you've, you've heard reviews, you've chatted to other people, you've seen the great results that you get with the machine. Um, but we just can't get them in stock fast enough. What we've done is we've made a brilliant deal with Elna. We've got the ability to pre-order them. So that's what we're offering today. You can pre-order order your Elna 680 Plus. It'll be delivered mid-Feb, so not long to wait at all. You can have up to five split pays, if you'd like them, of £249.80. And here's the really good news. When you pre-order the machine, you're going to get a £50 credit put into your Sewing Street account for you to spend on anything you like in March. So whether it's some fabric, some dressmaking patterns, just things like some lovely new pins, sewing machine needles, some thread, so that you're all set up ready. I mean, believe me, what you won't need to spend any of those £50 on is buying a walking foot because your machine doesn't come with one, or a darning foot because you don't, because guess what? you get all of those feet. Let's have a look at exactly what you're getting. It's mind-blowing. It's mind-blowing. Now, of course, on your machine, you're going to get your standard foot A. Uh, this is the machine that you're going to use for things like your zigzag, your straight stitch, a lot of your utility stitches. Okay, it's the, um, you know, your bread and butter foot. But then you get loads more. A rolled hem foot for doing those fine rolled hems on fine and delicate fabrics like shears, silk, or even cotton for things like really smart napkins, for example. That's an easy way to learn how to do a rolled hem. It's dead easy. Um, you get your zipper foot for e exactly that, putting in zippers, but also for piping or putting in little edgings, pom-pom edging on cushions. Hello. <laughs> I love a pom-pom. You've got your satin stitch foot. That's also going to be used for things like a lot of your decorative stitches, your embroidery style stitches as well. You get an open-toed satin stitch foot too. Completely interchangeable, but I love my open-toed satin stitch foot for paper piecing because having the open front means I can see the line that I'm stitching on really clearly. It's much more accurate. Try it. You get a blind hem foot, that's an ace foot, an overlock foot. So you, your machine's got lots of different over edge stitching uh, stitches. Um, so you don't need to use an overlocker for neatening edges. But the overlock foot means that your fabric won't roll, fold, wrinkle, crease, get chewed up while you're doing that over edge stitch. If you've ever tried zigzag stitching over seams without an overlock, foot you'll know what I'm talking about a quarter inch seam foot patchworkers hello that's exactly what we need now then we get into those sort of quilty feet a closed toe darning foot an open toe darning foot your even feed foot that's your walking foot that you're going to use so much you get your automatic buttonhole foot there are loads of different buttonholes on this machine your automatic buttonhole foot is used for all of them a stabiliser plate to use with that. You just get a button sewing foot, so you can sew buttons on by machine. You get a circular sewing pivot pin, so you can sew decorative stitches in circles, some great effects there. A quilting guide bar, so if you want to do things like cross hatching or evenly spaced straight lines, you use your quilting guide bar and then you don't have to mark anything. Um, the quilting guide bar for the even feed foot as well, so one of each. You get your straight stitch needle plate. Now that's genius. So if you've ever had your machine gobble up your fabric, use the straight stitch needle plate. Uh, it's an absolute whiz. You get your bobbins, you get seam ripper, essential, needle set, lint brush, spool holders for special uh, threads, large and small. An additional spool pin so you can do things like twin needle work. And also I use it for winding a bobbin without having to unthread my machine. Uh, and also a screwdriver. It's the only screwdriver I own. Uh, you get a touch panel stylus and knee lifter. Hello, Delphine Brooks, a favourite sewing uh, tool now, I think. 
an extra wide extension table which is worth its weight in gold, a foot controller, although you also have the option of touch button start stop, and a semi hard cover. All of that is standard. It's all standard. Morning, Stuart and team. I have this machine. Took me ages to pluck up the courage to take it out of the box. Thanks to you, I did. It is the Rolls Royce. Lynn, thank you for that message. It really is. And thank you as well for acknowledging, Lynn, that sometimes it can be a bit scary and a bit intimidating to when you've bought your machine to then take it out of the box. Or you might even be thinking, I'm not even sure whether I... I don't know, what would I do? Would I, would I use it? How would I? Getting it out the box is where it, where it starts. You know, of course, we're all, we're all a bit precious. It's like buying a new car, isn't it? You know, you sort of, everything's sort of, <gasps> in case you, 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 you knock anything, you know. But, but the thing to do is get the machine out the box, thread it up unthread it, rethread it, do that a few times, start to feel comfortable, start to play around with the stitches. I recommend just getting some medium weight fusible interfacing, iron it to the back of a piece of something like Osnaberg, Calico, plain cotton, and then just practice sewing some stitches. Sew a zigzag, try making it longer, try making it wider, try a decorative stitch, you know, or just type in a number, see what comes up, your machine will tell you what foot to put on and stitch it out. See how it looks. Make yourself a little stitch Bible. We call it a stitch Bible where you just make calico sheets and try at each stitch, try taking it from its shortest to its longest and its narrowest to its widest setting and stitch them out, especially the ones you use most often. Then, when you come to do a project, maybe like you're going to do some applique and you think, well, I want this to have really bold buttonhole stitching around it. Rather than then having to experiment, go to your stitch bible, go to the page where you did your buttonholes and think, OK, a setting of five on the width and three on the length gives me this effect. That looks exactly what I want. You can go straight to it. It's a really, really useful thing to do if you've got you know, rainy day, don't want to go out have a play, create a page for your Stitch Bible. It really is an incredible machine with so much potential, but also let's just talk about the everyday straight stitch, patching, quilting, dressmaking, where we're just doing straight stitch, overlock, zigzag, buttonholes. It does those phenomenally well. It elevates everything you sew. It's what it's all about, isn't it? Great results. A joyful experience. We want you to enjoy every step of your journey when you're making something. And having a quality sewing machine can really impact that. Now you saw just a moment ago um, a slide on the screen that had all those other extras and things like the stitches. Let's just have a quick look at those, shall we? This, uh, this picture here shows you the extras that you're getting, things like all those feet. And I just want to bring your attention to sort of, the sort of bottom left where you've got your darning foot and then you've got your interchangeable heads. Can you see that one that's got like the red bullseye on it? That's my favourite. I always call that my big foot because, um, and I've got something very similar to that on my long arm as well. It stops the fabrics kind of wrinkling, rolling, rucking while you're quilting. It holds down a bigger area of fabric while you're quilting. It's also amazing when you come to quilt the very edge of your quilt because a small foot will lift up the edge of your fabric. Do you know what I mean? On the very outer edge of your border. Whereas the big foot kind of glides over it and holds it down while you're quilting. They're an absolute boon. All these extras, that walking foot. Now, for some sewing machines, they can be 50, 60 pounds. For some brands, you can pay 100, 110 pounds for a walking foot. You're not paying any extra. It's all included in your machine. It's the full package. It's one of the very, very 
significant reasons, I think, why it's such a popular machine. It's also incredibly fast. Now, maximum speed of 1,000 stitches per minute. Now, if you want slow stitching, if you're using the start-stop button, if you want to do sort of very precise, I don't want to overshoot the edge, I want to stop on a precise moment, turn the speed down. Now what this will do, if you're using the foot pedal, what this will do is, this will be your maximum speed. So whether you've got your foot a little bit on the pedal or flat to the floor, it won't go above the slowest speed. Similarly, if you've got it kind of halfway, it doesn't matter, like if you've only got your foot a little bit on the pedal, it'll so at the slowest speed. If you increase the pressure on the, on the pedal, it will go up to mid speed, but it won't go above it, even if your foot's flat to the floor. So it's, a speed, it's still a speed controller, but it's a limiter. It limits the top speed. If you're using the start stop button, whatever you set this to, your machine will go up to that speed, okay? So it does start a little slower, but it will very quickly get up to this speed. So this is the speed that your machine will run at, at a constant. I would recommend, if you've not used to using the start stop button, start with it on its very slowest setting. It might feel painfully slow to begin with, but it will get you into the habit of having your hands away from the fabric to start it, it gives you enough time to get your hands back down and then when you want to stop it as well, nothing's going to, too much is going to happen between taking your hands off to stop, to press the stop button. What I tend to do when I'm using this is I'll start slowly and then if I'm sewing a long seam, one hand will creep up and I'll increase the speed. Really easy to use. A message from Jerry. How do you drop the feed dogs? My birthday soon. Hint, hint. Dead easy. Let me just turn the machine to one side. If, I'm, if I turn the machine to rumbled chocolate chip cookie. I'm not proud. It's my birthday next week. <laughs> See this right here? This is your button for your feed dogs. Okay. So it's got a little symbol above it showing the teeth up and down okay so when you push this button to drop the feed dogs okay if we come back to the bed of the machine now now what i'm going to do just so you've got a really clear view i'm going to take that foot off can you now see that those feed dogs have dropped so they're now out of the way yeah so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch the button to bring the feed dogs back up again and watch what happens. I've done it. I've done it. Nothing happens. Okay, the reason why is, don't worry, don't panic. As soon as you take your first stitch, there they go. They come back up again. So you have to take that first stitch to re-engage the feed dogs. And again, I'm just going to drop the feed dogs now. And they've dropped. If I re-engage the feed dogs, I've done it, take my first stitch and they pop back up again. All right. So now one of the, <laughs> and we've all done this, trust me, um, is drop the feed dogs, finish our quilting, pack our machine away and then get it out a day later, the next week, two weeks later, start to sew and our fabric just stays in one spot and we think, oh, what's happened? My machine's broken. I've done it. You might well have done it. Always check that. If, you're, if your fabric isn't feeding, the first thing you should always check is that your feed dogs are engaged. Message from Stephanie. Hi Stuart. I got a walking foot with my Elna 580 Plus. Uh, we included those, didn't we? Yeah, from Sewing Street in November. I do not know how I survived without this essential foot before now. Good point, Stephanie. It was a deal that we put together because the 580 doesn't come with a walking foot. But we know how essential it is. To get it included, it, it just, as Stephanie said, if you've not had one before and then you suddenly start using one, you think, how did I manage without this? 
If you've never seen one before, what the walking foot does is, we've just seen the feed dogs on the machine, that set of teeth, that carry the, um, that carry the fabric through from the bottom. Now, what your walking foot does is, can you see those white teeth? Just, just along there, yeah? They're another set of feed dogs, if you like, and they go on the top of the fabric. So as you take each stitch, those feed dogs go down just at the same point that the feed dogs on the bottom come up. So it's almost like two hands grabbing the fabric, taking a stitch, grabbing the fabric, taking a stitch, because normally it's just from the underside grabbing the fabric and taking a stitch. So this means that it's feeding the fabric evenly top and bottom. Now if you're doing something like a quilt where you've got lots of layers, the last thing you want is for there only to be control from the bottom because what's taking the top of the fabric through at the same speed, what's stopping wrinkling and tucks and pleats? Your walking foot will do that. Uh, lots of people, Qatar produce, uses the walking foot for everything. Learn to sew everything with the walking foot on. You can straight stitch, you can zigzag, you can quilt, you can construct. You usually end up paying 50, 60, 100 plus pounds for your walking foot. Um, and when it's essential, at some point, we all bite the bullet and we buy one. If you can get the sewing machine with the walking foot included, then that's the one to get. Um, if you then throw in as well the darning feet options, which again, you know how much I love my quilting, this just then makes it, well, for me, it's, it's just, there's, no, there's, no, there's nothing to think about. You get your darning foot, it's got a little open, open toe to it, and that spring, whoops, that spring is what kind of returns, it, sometimes these are referred to as, hop, as a hopping foot, okay, that's what kind of returns it back up and down, makes it hop, okay, so that foot you get, but then you also get this version, and this version you can change, you can swap out, sorry, I'm just going to swap that round, I've got them round the wrong way, this one is your standard <laughs> and then you get this one which you can swap out okay so there's a little screw on the side if you undo that screw you can take the bottom off now at the moment it's got the open toed darning foot on you've also got a closed toe option which you can fit on instead and you've also got my favorite bullseye so like I say, when you're quilting with that, what happens is, let me just grab a little, grab a little bit of fabric. What happens then is that as you're quilting, okay, that flat foot is in contact with the whole surface instead of that little tiny bit. Of course there's applications where having this is really really useful and sensible but for the majority of my free motion quilting I'll use that big foot because it holds the surface down. It also means when you get to the very edge of your quilt, okay so you might have batting and backing out here but your quilt top we want to be able to quilt right to the edge. Now if you're free motion quilting okay and then you get to the edge we can go under okay we can lift and end up flipping the edge over and stitching it down, you know, in our delight at free motion quilting. With your big foot and your quilting, you can go out over that edge and back in and it's not catchy. Obviously, if you go beyond that and then back in, you might. But the fact is you're going to be quilting up to here and along here and nothing's happening. It's not lifting that edge. So really useful tool that. Now, another extra specially, um, special feature on this machine is that stitch width will go up to nine millimeters. Now, vast majority of sewing machines go up to maybe seven mil. Um, this goes up to a nine mil, particularly important with things like your alphabet, your capital letters and numbers. You're gonna get that larger size. It also means that you've got more positions for your needle. Um, the Elna 680 Plus does come with two alphabets as well. I mean, in total, the number of stitches, I think is at 170 different stitches, 170 stitches. And then you've got 10 buttonholes within that. 
They're all your utility stitches, but look then at your alphabets. Let me just twist that around a little bit. And you can see there in the bottom corner, all the ones that can be nine millimeters. Fab. Any questions that you've got about the Elna 680 Plus, get them in. We'll answer them as best we can. Um, can't believe it's here. It's wonderful. Happy days. It's available today on pre-order. Your name will be put on your machine mid-February. It will be dispatched to you. You'll also get £50 credit on your Sewing Street account to spend in March. Now then, we are going to go to a little break. When we come back, we'll have Amanda Little back with another fabulous project. Have a little think about the Elna 680 Plus, and we'll see you in a couple of minutes. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. We are moving home. From Wednesday the 26th of January, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane are moving to Freeview Channel 73. We will still be on Sky Channel 670, YouTube and Facebook Live as normal. It's only the Freeview Channel that is changing. Keep your eyes peeled on our Facebook, Instagram and our email newsletter for more details. And if you watch us on Freeview, don't forget to tune into Freeview Channel 73 from 8am on Wednesday the 26th of January. In need of a crafting fix. There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Do you love sewing? Are you creative, inspiring, and love to share your skills and tips with others? We're excited to announce Sewing Street Search for a Star 2022. We're looking for talented sewists of all genres. Dressmaking, quilting, homewares, and needlecraft. To join the Sewing Street family and share their sewing wisdom with our viewers. Live on air. To enter to become our next guest designer, all you have to do is send us a video submission of you introducing yourself and a brief demonstration of some sewing. Send your video to studio at sewingstreet.com with the subject, search for a sewing star. If you have any issues, email us and Director Elliot will be sure to help. Please keep your videos under three minutes in length 
and in landscape. For more information, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Good, Good luck. luck. Are you tempted to send in a video for our search for a sewing star? We would love to see what you do, who you are. We love seeing and meeting uh, people who watch Sewing Street, of course, our friends. Uh, but also, if you think that you could come on air and show others how to sew, share your joy of sewing, we would love to see those videos. Now, in this hour, we've got the wonderful Amanda Littleback. Amanda, Hey, how you doing? Did you have a wonderful time relaxing in your Winnebago oh, in the last <laughs> hour? Did you have a swim? Yes. Man, it, man, I could do with a manicure. Oh, bless you. <laughs> well, I mean, we really did ring you out in the last hour, but I'm sure we're going to get lots more questions and really, really sort of use your expertise in the next hour. You've been a fab guest this morning, so I'm looking forward to this hour very much. Now, Amanda has brought a second fantastic pattern and kit. We are all in love with these. How super cute is this set of pyramid pattern weights with a storage bag, the cutest storage bag, which I I'm, I'm know now that you're going to make a gazillion times. Not just for these pattern weights, but I mean how giftable every friend who likes dressmaking is getting a set of these. Now, there are, here they are. These, let me just show you, because it's super cute. Here's the little bag. Adorable, love these. Drawstring, okay. But look, on the outside, pockets. How adorable is this fabric? Sunday stroll. And then inside, here are those pattern weights. Little pyramid. These are the nicest ones I've seen. Mm -hmm. I mean, I first saw pattern weights on, funnily enough, on the sewing bee. Yeah. They've become a real thing, haven't they, amongst dressmakers? They have. Rather I, um, than pinning the I must admit, down. it's taken me a while to, to get into the swing of using them. I was a pins and scissors yeah, person. Yeah, but now, pattern weights, rotary cut round or scissor oh, cut, um, it's a whiz. How many of these pattern weights can you make using these so kits? So you can make uh, a dozen of each colourway. I've only made three, just purely because wow. I was pushed on time. So but 12 in total? No, um, 12 of each colour, so 24, so 24 which would do uh, a full, you know, sort of dress making pattern. Yes. Wow. So 24 of these and the bag, and I'm making that bag 100 times at least. Mm and all my friends are getting these. This is brilliant, yeah. love it. It's the cutest thing. For $22.99, you're getting all your fabric and your pattern. Now, let me just show you the different options that we've got. This one that we've got made up is, now where is it, it's hiding. This is the navy and teal. Now, this uses some fabrics from Moda, doesn't it? This is Sunday Stroll. Uh, this floral is absolutely gorgeous, mm. isn't it? Uh, lovely little uh, pinstripe as well. And then you've got that sweet polka dot and that little striped rose fabric. Really beautiful, isn't it? You're also getting your instructions to make your pyramid pattern weights and storage. Hello, what's mm. this? Um, in there as well. But also as an added extra special gift from Amanda. Amanda's a fabulous long arm quilter and as a thank you for supporting her business she's offering 25% off your next edge to edge quilting service, long arm quilting service from Little Quilt House uh, which is Amanda's company. You can use this to have a quilt whatever size you like okay 25% um, off the cost of long arm That's quilting which is a fabulous offer. Thank you for that, Amanda. Okay. Really fabulous. Um, Amanda's based in Stone yep. uh, in the West Midlands. That's it, yeah, yeah. Staffordshire. And uh, in Staffordshire. So if you did want to visit, you can to choose your long arm pattern, but you can also do it remotely over the internet too. So that's our first option, $22.99 for the navy and teal. These are the fabrics that you're going to get. You're getting your pattern. Fabric-wise, we're getting are these fat quarters. The fat quarters. Yep, yeah, so you're four getting four fat quarters. fat quarters, plus your instructions. Enough to make, would you believe, 24 of those pyramid pattern weights and the bag as well. 
absolutely superb. So that's option one. Now, option number two, what should we do? Let's do, well, this is a lovely sewing themed version. So this is, I don't have a code, do you? Oh, that's perfect. So this is called Amanda's Little Sewing Notions Pyramid Pattern. So Little Sewing Notions, this is a great range of fabric. You've got uh, vintage sewing machines, you've got cotton reels, pins, and notions. I love that. Really, I mean, I think most of us as sewers, we love a little sewing theme. Yeah, themed. anything with a sewing theme is good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it is lovely, isn't it? It is lovely. And you're getting those fabrics, you're also getting your pattern. Use it as many times as you like. Amanda, can I just ask mm. your angel policy with your patterns? Are people allowed to make and sell? They can, to be honest, it's something I'd never, um, you know, given a, a thought oh, to. Oh, sorry to throw it no, on you. No, no, so, yes, go <laughs> ahead, feel free. So people yeah. can make as many as they like, yeah. make and sell, yeah. but obviously that pattern is just for your use, so don't reproduce or give the pattern away, photocopy, anything like that, but you can make bags and pattern weights and sell those mm -hmm. for profit or for charity with Amanda's Blessing. So that's the little sewing notion set. Again, $22.99 for that. Now, another, this is, it's Bonnie and Camille, isn't it's, it? Actually, I, I didn't get to see that one before. That's the first time it's I've seen it. It's lovely. lovely. Yeah. Really Especially nice. with Valentine's coming up. It's very, yeah, that um, is true. So this is another of the Bonnie and Camille collection from Moda. Uh, really beautiful, uh, definitely a nod towards Valentine's, but also just lovely, soft, romantic, bit shabby chic looking too. You get you all your fabrics, you get your instructions, you get your thank you discount code from Amanda. Twenty two ninety nine again. I can't decide. I've all actually, of them. Now I've seen it. I I would go for the red and yeah. for the blue and the aqua. I think they're my favourite. The reds are lovely, aren't yeah. they? And then, last option, blues and yellows. These are lovely fabrics mm -hmm. too. So this one we are calling Liberty. These are all Liberty fabrics. So you've got a selection of blues and yellows, really sunny and gorgeous. And Amanda, am I right, you pick two of the fat quarters for the yeah, bag? Yes, so pick two um, works best with the contrast mm -hmm. uh, for, for those sort of inner uh, pockets and, and flap. Um, and then, yeah, the other two for the pattern weights. So that might work nicely for the bag and use those for the weights. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or that would yeah. work. I mean, I suppose if you picked like the blue and put any of the others with that, you'd have plenty of contrast, yeah. wouldn't you? Yeah. You could even go, that would work. Mm -hmm. mm. That's amazing, isn't it? Four Liberty Fat Quarters and your pattern for $22.99. That is amazing value. Fab. Now, we can do the pattern on its own. It's already <laughs> very limited. We've got less than 30 left already. Cracker. $9.99. Amanda's patterns are superbly produced. Thank you. They are really lovely. They're great. You're getting full instructions. You're getting all your diagrams. Everything's very, very clear. And it's really nicely produced. We did have lots and lots of fat quarter bundles in our first hour, including some really lovely new ones. You could have a look at those. You could grab the pattern, grab some fat quarters. Um, fantastic. I love it. I love it. It's a really fun make, this, isn't it? Is it is really quick uh, and easy. Um, great for a, a gift. Yeah, yeah really giftable. Yeah. Really giftable. Start now. Come Christmas, all of your friends can have pattern weights. Mm -hmm. Now, the only other thing you'll need, apart from some thread, of course, <coughs> um, is a pack of these uh, recycled polythene pellets. Now, in your bag, you get one kilogram. Yeah. Now, I don't need to the last gram, but roughly <laughs> <laughs> how would, much do you need? <laughs> you would probably, to, to do all to, to do 24, yeah. you would probably need a couple of bags. Um, gotcha. To, you want to fill the bags nice and full so that gotcha. when you, they're in use, they're not sort of all 
saggy and baggy. Um, Five ninety nine for a bag. That is a really good price. So a couple a couple of bags of these to make twenty four. We're not charging you on weight for your postage and packing. It's three ninety five all day, no matter what you buy. You might buy the Elna six eighty plus. You might buy five bags of polythene pellets. That's mm. five kilograms on its own. Yeah. We charge you three ninety five mm. for the lot. If you're only going to make maybe eight, ten, twelve pattern weights, one bag. That would, would be fun, yeah. You could even pad it out perhaps if you've got some dried lavender, have a nice waft of oh, lavender as you That's a nice idea. While you're doing your dressmaking, yeah, yeah. very nice. Yeah. Could you mix that with toy stuffing as well? Have weights in the bottom and um, stuffing on top? Ideally, you want, you want um, the, the, the the poly pellets or even um, uh, rice or uh, the the walnut shell type yeah, filling, yeah. something just with a bit of weight. Yeah, but of course the benefit of using these polythene pellets is that they're not going to absorb moisture which things like rice can yeah. do um, and also things like rice and wheat and things like that can attract um, yeah. pests mm -hmm. yeah. wow what a fabulous pattern in the basket and checked out loving the shows and demos today thank you very much vanessa five of the navy and teal option are left I'm going to show you those fabrics again and then we'll go to Amanda for demos. But there are literally five of those options. There are 17 of you with it in your basket. Okay. So it's basically, it's like the Wild West, isn't it? Who can draw their <laughs> yeah, gun quickest? First, yeah. um, you know, honestly, I know I hate to push you, but I don't want you to miss out. And, and, and five into 17, don't go. No. We can't do fractions. <laughs> We've only 15 of the pattern on its own left as well. Amanda, we love what you do. Thank you. We love what you do. So beautiful. Uh, actually, I think for the, for the price difference, you might as well go for a kit because you're getting the pattern. You're getting beautiful fabrics. The hardest bit is choosing which one you'll go for. But I promise you, you'll make this again and again. You'll make the bag a gazillion oh, so, Yeah, the bag would be really yeah, useful. Is this an for... easy project? It is, I think so. Yeah. You're <laughs> yeah. good. You're good. Is it a beginner friendly? Is it an I, accessible I think it pattern? is because, again, it's... Um... There are some perhaps small, I'll, I'll show you when we get going, there are some, some small tight folds to do perhaps. Okay. But other than that, straight stitching, uh, long seams. So might it be an idea if we were a beginner or, well, any of us actually, to grab a bit of plain cotton and try making one Just of the pattern weights on its own? Yeah, yeah, that would be a good idea. Before we cut yeah. into our pressure. And perhaps the tie as well. But you've got the, the option with the ties, if it is a little bit too fiddly for you, mm -hmm. um, you could always buy um, ribbon. Narrow ribbon? You, you've not got to make the ties Great if you idea. don't want to. Oh, but I think it's worth persevering because I tell you what, the thing that appeals to me most about these are those little narrow ties oh, yeah. on the pattern weights, but also on the bag. I just think they look darling. Now, which colourway are you going to be working with I'm going to work with the Liberty, the blues oh, and the lovely. yellows. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Lovely. So, the main graphic that's going to be on screen throughout Amanda's demo is going to be that Liberty. I'll just show you these as, again, just very, very quickly, and then I'll hand over to Amanda. These are your gorgeous blues and yellows from Liberty's quilting collection, plus your pattern. There are only 15 of the, less than 15, in fact, of these left. Um, but this is the one that Amanda's going to demonstrate with. I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to hand over to you. Okay, thank you. So, <laughs> here's, here's a giggle in the background. <laughs> prepared earlier. So, we start off with uh, a square of fabric. Choose um, a print for the outside, favourite print for the outside, and then a good contrast for the uh, the inside and this is for the bag yeah this is for the bag yes sorry we'll do the bag first um i've already obviously sewn this one round just to save a little bit of time but i'll show you just in miniature how to get a nice neat corner on your so you put them right sides together sorry yes quarter of an inch around the outside right sides together um quarter of an inch seam allowance and then i've left a six inch um turning Mind the wrong place. There we Don't go. Don't forget that bit. Oh, yes. <laughs> Do you ever forget? I, I haven't got a 
clue where I'm looking to be. <laughs> I just <laughs> look up and gaze out into space to see which, uh, where I can see my hands. Um, yes, yeah, so, so a six inch turning gap. Um, and we don't need to slip stitch that. We're going to top stitch and that will take care of oh, that uh, raw edge for us. Good. Yeah. So just fold it in, finger press and then... Yes, yeah, I'll, I'll show you. Um, if I say if I do it in miniature, that will speed up that part and then we can get to the, um, the folding. Oh, great. Clever idea. So this is a mini version. Just a, a mini, super fast mini version. Teeny tiny bag. Message from Alison. Hey, guys. I also put a large washer in the base and filled them up with pellets and lavender. Yeah. Really heavy and smelled so sweet yeah. results. Yeah, nuts and bolts, something like that. that yeah. Great idea, yeah, like a big flat washer in the bottom. Yeah, yeah. Like that. Thanks, Alison. Um, okay, so what I like to do, just to make sure that I'm getting a good sharp corner, um, I'll keep the same size just um, so that it, it looks the same as it would if I'm making the full size bag. In every corner, I'll just mark my quarter of an inch seam allowance um, so that I know where to pivot. Oh, nice. Um, like and if I do two, perhaps. Again, a friction pen, it's going to be inside. It, um, it should never really be mm -hmm. on show. And what we're going to do is pin them together. you're watching at home and never met Amanda before, Amanda Little, um, this is your second time, isn't it? So It to. is, yes. We're so, yeah. so happy to have you back. We've been Thank having you. a wonderful morning, really enjoying your expertise and Thank your you. design and just great. Thank you. If you've got any questions for Amanda, do get them in. Uh, Amanda's an expert quilter, expert long arm quilter and designer as well. So any questions, get them in. Okay, so we're going to take that, um, it's all pinned, we're going to take it to the sewing machine. I'm just going to sew, I'll perhaps pop that up to um, a 2.6 all the way around, but these one inch corners that I've marked, when I hit uh, that pen mark, I'm going to drop the uh, stitch length down to about 1.8, oh, nice tight small um, stitches. Um, that is going to give us a more accurate corner, you know, sort of if you when you turn it out, if you poke, sometimes your scissors or whatever you're poking with can, can go through. What a fantastic tip. Um, really but also, like um, yeah, I've got it there. I'm going to take, and I'll show you how I use this, roughly, I don't know, 12 inches of just ordinary sewing thread, whatever bits of sewing thread or scraps you've got lurking around, mm -hmm. and just double it over the end. I might have to put my glasses on actually for this. So yeah, just prepare a mm -hmm. piece of thread. Um, actually, let's do another one. I've got two. I'm intrigued. <laughs> I'm watching. Basic I, I find it really good for, for nice sharp corners yeah. and especially uh, more so in dressmaking. You know, if you're doing a collar, collar yeah. or if you're doing a cuff and mm -hmm. you want a nice sharp corner, mm -hmm. um, it you dress make as well? I do. That, I, oh, I need you back. <laughs> need you back. Um, I did dress making before I did quilting. Oh, okay. um, it was only when we started a family that I got into quilting mm -hmm. and wanted to make a Christmas quilt, you know, mm -hmm. an heirloom. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, but yeah, prior to that, I'd done dress making. Um, oh, cool. Only, you know, sort of as a, a hobby. Um, I bet you do it beautifully, though. So the threads are just on the side so for now. We'll just we'll set those to one yeah. side for now, yeah. So I'm just going to sew. So I've got the length at 2.6 and I'm just going to sew now with a quarter inch seam allowance until I hit the start of that friction pen mark. Mm -hmm. So and this is where you reduce your stitch length? Yes, which I think is, yeah. That, that I think is a brilliant tip. Okay. Actually, I'm going to go to 1.5 mm -hmm. and what I'm going to, I'll remove that pin. Is that clear to see? Yeah. So I'm going to stitch until I um, hit that uh, hairline. OK. 
Okay, leave your needle down right in that hairline. I will take these pins out now just to do this bit. You never sew over pins. I try not to. I don't do yeah. it on purpose, but yeah. sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Promise. <laughs> no, I'm with you there. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. yeah. Sometimes you just, sometimes I don't know, brain just uh -huh. isn't with it. So I've got my just standard cotton thread doubled over. I'm going to lift, actually, if I lift that presser foot, I'm going to tuck that thread in the gap. I'm going to pull it reasonably tight so it's against the needle. Gotcha. I'm going to put the fabric back down. Put the foot down. This is uh, when it's useful to have the needle up down function on your sewing machine. Mm -hmm. So one up, one down. Hopefully I've sewn now a stitch to secure this thread. Gotcha, because you put the thread right up against right the needle. Right up against so the needle, done, yeah. So I'm now going to pivot. And so 1.5 to the end of that second that second mm -hmm. pen mark. Back up now to 2.6 or whatever. So you mark a line that's like an inch each each way, and that you do just one because inch I'm a little bit, yeah. Capricorn. Yeah, it could be any measurement. You said it. You said it. <laughs> yeah. I think that's a brilliant tip. We all learn something new, don't we? It's a brilliant new tip for me. Yeah. I'm going to take that away and use that. So I'm going to go back down to 1.5, sew to the hairline marker, get that second piece of thread again, oops, just double it over, mm -hmm. lift the press, needle down, lift the presser foot, open the fabrics, pop. We're all mesmerised oh. here. One stitch. Take a stitch. Actually, I think what I forgot to do on that one is just bring that thread round now so that it's inside as oh, you carry okay. on sewing. Mm -hmm. I can't remember if I did that before. Perhaps I didn't. So just bring the threads so that they're all in the middle. Pivot. And then just up your stitch length back. Obviously, when I'm doing that, I would carry on then. Yeah, and all so all, four yeah, but leave that six-inch gap. gap. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um. I hope we've got a drum roll ready. Oh, I do as well. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Amanda has spoken. She wants a drum roll. Oh, oh now I'm just hoping it Make works. Make it happen. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I didn't do that. Perhaps that one's not going to work. I didn't do that one. Uh, I didn't tuck the thread in. Um, okay, so before we turn it, um, when or when we've turned it, we're going to top stitch. I don't tend to trim my corners when oh. I've turned them. Mm -hmm. um, it just keeps it, you know, sort of all um, even. Sometimes you, you know, you, you stitching can go off a bit if you're going up and down different layers. Yes. If it's constant, yeah. Then, then hopefully your stitching should be um, consistent. Fair but enough. what I am going to do uh, now, if this was. The, the so this largest is like your little yeah. gap. I would just um, press that round and it'll just give you a crisp. And with the six inch gap, if mm -hmm. you've got um, you know the wooden pressing um, with the point, I can't remember the, name, the clapper with the added bit on top. Oh, yeah. you, you, if your gap was big enough, you could pop that on and then just open your seams Outwards, and press yeah. as best. Because it is always difficult to get it a nice is, yeah. neat finish, isn't it, yeah. when you've left a gap? But yeah. that's a good tip to, to press the yeah. seam allowance open, basically. Yeah. Much easier if you're only doing it on one flat yeah. side so, <laughs> than a square. Uh, that one's not going to work. I've, I've not put the th thread no in. But, um, so what we're going to do now, just to help it on its way, just fold on that stitch line and press. and then fold this side down just so that it's already got a bit of a memory mm -hmm. before you've turned it. Uh, 
And now, hold our breath and see if it's okay, worked. Okay, Jesse, ready with that drum roll? <laughs> I want a drum roll. I want okay. a Okay. So wait turn it now, out. Wait for it. Go on. Now, carefully grab those threads and just gently pull on them. Oh, but not. Come on, look at that! Don't pull too hard because uh, it could. I want applause. I want but you deserve applause. Give us applause. And then <laughs> Come on. All you need to do then is just separate that thread and pull it. That out. is a brilliant, brilliant. But that should give you that corner. That is beautiful. That one's actually it isn't as crisp as I would have liked it, but. I think that's it just a makes it a lot technique. easier. It's a brilliant technique. Thank you so much for showing okay. us that. That's fab. Now, I just wanted to mention, we did have a couple of inquiries asking if the Rose Garden uh, fat quarter bundle that I used for my Casbar cushion were still available. Um, are the fat quarters used? There are two bundles left. Um, so, up on screen right now, the Rose Terrace, sorry, not Rose Garden, Rose Terrace. Fat Quarters, Nikki, this is for you. Uh, fat Quarter Pack of 14 Fat Quarters for 49 I've got them in the studio to show you. We have still got the cushion up, but um, there they are. There they are. What do you think of those? They're lovely. Gorgeous, aren't they? Mm. I made that cushion up there out I saw of that yesterday. Yeah, that's resist. really nice. Yeah. Couldn't resist. Couldn't resist. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you're checking out your baskets, won't you? They're going to fly. They'll disappear. All right. Okay. Sorry about that, Amanda. That's Back right. to you. So I've just popped a, a couple of pins in um, to just keep that six inch opening gap closed. And now we're just going to top stitch approximately an eighth of an inch um, away from the edge all the way around. Again, if if you really want to, you can, you know, sort of mark your, your corners on. Mm -hmm. um, Or if you use your marking on your... Oh, Nikki, well done. She got them. <laughs> well done. Well done. And when you do your top stitching, do you leave your stitch length no more? No, I'm going to you... turn it up to ah. about 3.5. Oops, 3.5. Um, I mean, four is nice, but sometimes four, you come unstuck when you hit the corner if it's that little bit too long. Yeah. Um, now, Amanda's working on the Elna 560 machine. We are going to have a bit of a sort of sewing machine roundup at 12 o'clock. Um, £579. The prices of all sewing machines are going to be going up on the 1st of February. Um, we've seen it with the 680 plus already. We've been holding those, pa those um, prices back for as long as we can. But we can no longer resist the tide, I'm afraid. February 1st, the prices will go up. But the good news is that all of the machines that we're going to look at at 12 o'clock are in stock. You can order them now before the price increase. So at 12 o'clock, I'm going to be going through the sewing machines that we have available, their current prices and the prices that they're going to go up to. So um, 12 o'clock will be a good hour to stay tuned. Also, you might already have one of those sewing machines. Just want to explore some more of the functionality of your machine because sometimes, you know, it's, well, you don't have to plough through it yourself. We'll do that for you. We'll look at the machines together. So that's at 12. So top stitching, Amanda, um, I'll be honest with you, I wobble yeah, when um, I top stitch. I'm using uh, the guide. Uh, this is a, I think it's a Janome branded um, quarter inch foot. Mm -hmm. So I've got the guide on at the side set at a quarter inch. Oops. And I've just moved the needle position over towards the right, um, just roughly where I think one eighth is going to be. But if you... Um, it depends how far across you can move your sewing needle position. You could use it to push your blind hem foot, you know, with yeah. the little guide oh, yeah, okay. in it. To, uh, on and the edge keep of that fabric. on the edge of the fabric. That's a good tip. Or you could put uh, a couple of layers of masking tape or washi tape just to give yourself a, a gut. But yeah, it is tricky to... Um, I sew too fast, to be honest with you, Amanda. I know what I'm doing wrong. Yeah. I'm sewing too fast. Yeah. I just need to slow down. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Bernadette has messaged to say it is wonderful to see Amanda Little. She is very talented. 
I love her teaching and it's a pleasure watching her demos. Fantastic lady, I've missed her so much. Aww. Love Amanda, more of her demos, a fountain of knowledge, thank you. Great techniques and always happy to thoroughly explain everything. Absolutely, love Amanda, she works really hard, a great teacher. From Bernadette. Oh, bless. Thank you, Bernadette. That's a really kind message to send in. It is. I'm Already squeezing. learned so many extra tips and techniques. Me personally, this morning. Yeah. Um, and, and I'm not just saying that, you are a fountain of knowledge. We'll get you back doing dressmaking, Bernadette, yeah. if we may, please. <laughs> So did you say when you started a family, you started doing quilting? Yeah, I'd, um, I'd always enjoyed dressmaking. And when, when we bought our first house, I made all the um, window Sounds treatments. Familiar. You know, yeah. <laughs> um, and then when we had our daughter, yeah, I just got it in my mind. I wanted to make this Christmas quilt. Um, something that we could get at, you know, sort of every year with the Christmas decorations. Mm. And... Um, I went to uh, a, a well-known quilt shop in um, Birmingham oh, okay. yeah. mm -hmm. and a very kind lady helped me out uh, and I bought Macawa, uh, you know they always do a Christmas range yeah, yeah. and I bought their sort of ditzy Christmas range. Uh, I bought the exact same print in blue, cream, red and green because I had not got a clue. <laughs> Um, and she looked at me and she was trying to put, are you sure you don't want a different yeah. pattern? No, yeah. no. No, that's not um, Took it back home and I've got, um, ooh, I don't know if it's a Carol Doak book. Uh, it's something along the lines of your first quilt book or it should be. Yes, that's you, Carol Doak, yeah. It, yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, there Have was a... you stitched all the way around? I've top stitched, yeah. I was so saying, you've got elves under there doing the sewing, um, it's amazing. Perhaps if, if, if Jesse can blur the screen, because this might be a bit <laughs> squiffy. Um, nice. I'll just give it a quick flick over. Um, yeah, so uh, there's a quilt in there, and it's, I don't know, it's like a twisted rainbow ribbon, something or other. Oh, right, okay. But anyway, it was not a first time quilt makers project. You really are a man no. to remind <laughs> me. <laughs> just like, yeah, it's like, oh, that looks nice. I'll have a go at that. Yeah. Um, and I'd got, um, it was actually... A new home sewing machine it wasn't oh, yeah, it was yeah. before you know yeah, me. Um, and uh, no quarter an inch foot I don't right. think you could even get them perhaps in the, in the UK Did we even know about a quarter inch seam possibly at that point? not I didn't when I made my yeah. first quilt um, so Whatever patiently the foot was. yeah <laughs> cut out all of this fabric um, uh -huh. by hand and um, uh, half square triangles it, it wasn't you know fast piece half square yeah. triangle it was individually cut oh, so they've okay. got sharp points and then every time I took it to the presser foot it just disappeared down into the bells of the sewing machine um, so that quilt never happened oh it didn't no uh, bagged up the scraps and then when um, actually we got our son by then so five six years must have passed and they just used it for school pro you know when they need to yeah. take bags of scraps and things in for school projects yeah um, but I have I've obviously my Christmas quilt since, yeah, but that was what got me started. Was I'm the glad ones. you've got your heirloom Christmas quilt <laughs> now. I was yeah. starting to worry. So that's all now top stitch yes. pressed. Oops. Get ready for the magic. I can never get okay. those off the hook. I, I think they're, um, they're anti theft. <laughs> <laughs> anti theft, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> okay, so we've got our um, square uh, sewn top stitched. The, the fabric, the, the main fabric that you want is face uh, down mm -hmm. and your contrast lining is face up. What we're going to do is turn up this bottom point. Let me... Uh, eight. I'm going to do it that way. So I'm going to measure approximately eight and a quarter inches down mm -hmm. so don't don't be too depending on your seam allowance it's you know it, it's movable okay um so we're gonna pop that piece up and then that's it bring that piece down and oh, i can just feel you just you should just feel it yeah in in there is the the point mm -hmm. and then just as a double check you can make sure that these are roughly 
square. See, that's a pro tip. Well, it's not, you know, sort of when the bag's all scrunched up, it's not that noticeable. But if, if you want to, to try, then, yeah, yeah. yeah. And also just the, the going together is easier, isn't it, if everything's in the right if, place? Yeah, yeah. Um, so I'm now going to just mark a, a line down the centre. I'm going to use my chalk for this mm. because um, there's a, a chance, you know, that this could be on show and I don't want to risk the friction pen. So just check on your ruler that you've got a nice straight line. And obviously I'm use, just using grey, which was uh, what I've pieced with earlier. Mm -hmm. Try and match it to your... Um, outside fabric Fair enough. Sort of yep. like a, a nice thread so straight line I would pop some pins in Oops. and I think I just need to swap the foot out Julie said morning Stuart and Amanda love Amanda's demo is it just sweetie <laughs> yeah you are it's lovely okay. it's great having you here it's lovely being here actually oh, I uh, oh. When I get a chance, I do. Um, I do like to. Yeah, you challenged, often, didn't you, getting here this morning? Oh, just a little Pesky bit. Rose. Yeah, I knew. I mean, I'd done sort of all the time that we were in Digbeth, uh -huh. um, and and it had taken me hours at times to get to work. Um, but no, I set out just after six o'clock this morning mm. um, to discover that there was uh, down to two lanes. There'd oh. been an accident, I think, between junction nine and eight. But, yeah. um, so in a panic, and then rang Hayley to say. <laughs> I thought I was just you panicking that you would here. be on air and we'd never met and we've it just seemed really uh, rude yeah, to, well, you know, to not see we'd have, you. We'd have got round it, but it was lovely yeah, it was, that we managed to chat yeah. before before we started. This is a great bag, by the way, isn't it, that you'll make many, many times. If you want the pattern on its own, that has now sold out. But... The price of the kit is really competitive, isn't it? You're getting four fat quarters plus designer fat quarters, let me add. Might be Liberty, might be Moda. Um, you're also getting the pattern included, which you can use many, many times, as many times as you like. Make and sell, make for your own use, make as gifts. And I think, like, especially that bag, you know, what a great little toiletry bag. Or mm. keep your sewing kit in yeah. as well. Handy little pockets on the outside that just sort of make themselves, don't yeah. they? Um, now, this is the Liberty option, which Amanda's using. Four beautiful fabrics in blues and yellows. Now, there are less than ten available. That option is on screen. Remember, whatever fabric option you're going for, you'll need some recycled polythene pellets. We sell them in kilogram bags. Amanda recommends if you want to make the maximum number of pattern weights, which is 24, would you believe? Amazing. Um, two bags of pellets um, in your shopping basket. We don't weigh things and charge you by weight for postage. It's one standard, 3.95 all day. So, um, feel your boots. Feel your pattern weights, in fact. Um, don't feel boots with these. You'll never get your feet inside. There they are on screen. Last few chances. We're pretty low stock of those, actually. These are brill, aren't they, for anything where you want weight door stops? Yes, and yeah, or even, um, you know, the pin cushions yeah. that you can sort of rest on the edge of your desk with the, the flap that, yeah, for your thread catcher and all your tools, mm. yeah. Um, so so I've down just line. sewn down the middle. That now is going to be the base of the bag. That will stand up and Got be the you. base of the bag. So what we need, actually, I'll just quickly press it. It is worth just giving it a quick rub over. You'll just get a neater fold for the next stage. So what we're going to do now is turn these edges in as best you can. Mm -hmm. they, they, no matter how hard you try, they're not going to be, um, you know, sort of absolutely spot on. So it, don't it, worry. It too doesn't much matter about that. as long as you can get the the corner to lie nice and flat. It doesn't really matter where that ends up. Mm -hmm. So just pop. 
a couple of pins in. A message from Chantal in Dorset. Birthday treat for myself. I've gone for the Sewing Notions kit. Now I can stop using my mobile for my fabric weights, Chantal. <laughs> what do you have to do? Move it around. <laughs> oh, bless you. I think we've all done that though, haven't we? Cleared off the, uh, oh, anything. the glass cabinet. The bars. <laughs> yeah, the cat. <laughs> Sit still. <laughs> oh, well done, Chantel. You'll have great fun making this as well. Am I right in saying, Amanda, those points now that you're pinning down, that's these That's going to be, yes. Yeah? Yeah. So when Amanda was saying, don't worry too much about where the points sit, if I just show you on the bag, once the bag's sort of in use, look, these points are, are here. These are the corners that are being folded in. So it doesn't matter if they're not, they don't have to sit no. perfectly in there. It's like a little petal, isn't it? Mm. It's lovely. Yeah, really cute. And there's that centre line of stitching on the base, just as you said. Yep. OK, so we've got those pinned now. It's hard, isn't it, to, to see when you look at the back? Yeah, like, you, to fathom out how it's... Like yeah, but it is really quite straightforward. Mm. It's not, mm. Um, mm. not particularly fiddly. So we're going to draw now um, a three-quarter inch line. So this is now we're going to create the casing, the, mm -hmm. the channel for the, the cord. So three quarters of an inch and then half an inch. So if you don't feel that you want to make the ties, just get some um, ready-made ribbon or cord or, yeah, or something fine that cord would work. Would look yeah. nice, wouldn't it? I love making those little ties though, and it's an extra little pop I of colour. I quite like it, yeah. It? It's strange, isn't it? No, they're, they're sweet. <laughs> Satisfying. Sweet. Could we do rouleau loops? You could, yes. If you didn't want to do the pressing and the edge stitching, you could just do a rouleau loop. Yeah, that would work perfectly. I'm showing off now. <laughs> on the first on the first series of Sewing Bee, that we had to make a little baby dress with the shearing elastic. Because Lauren got a gold star, didn't she, she for did, uh, rouleau loops? They were so yeah. fine. Yeah. And I think, you know, I mean, I hadn't got a clue what rouleau loops were, frankly. So I think I did folded. Yeah. I don't do. Yeah. I didn't do loops at I all. I didn't realise until you did that talk at Staffs Patchwork and Quilters. I didn't realise that you'd applied, not actually knowing what you were putting yourself in for. Well, we all thought we knew what we were applying <laughs> for, and yeah, at the time it was, you know, patchwork and quilting, home decor, recycling, you know, and a bit of dressmaking. Yeah. And I'd, I'd said to them, you know, I don't do dressmaking. Yeah. I've made some pajama bottoms. And they said, oh, don't worry about that. There'll be people that have never made a quilt before, never recovered a, a chair before. Yeah. You know, you'll be able to do that and they'll be really challenged. And then, yeah, I think it was about 10 days before we started filming that they said, oh, we've had to tweak the format. It. <laughs> yeah. It's all dressmaking. And I was like, what? What? <laughs> but, uh, you know... So then it was like, okay, how much dressmaking can I learn in 10 days? <laughs> Not a lot as it turned out. <laughs> no, I'm I kidding. thought you were did really, all right. really did all right. I left um, with my head held high. You see, there was no sewing street there and I couldn't tune in and watch somebody show first. me how to do a yeah. facing. I mean, the thing is, we, we use this jargon, don't we, this language. Oh, this is just a faced collar you know, a face neckline. Yeah. And if you know why I did, I'll tell you another one of the things, very first challenge, you had to understitch yeah. the um, waistband on a yeah. skirt. I'd only ever done top stitching, so yeah. that's what I did. I did. But of course, now I know what understitching is. And yeah. for beginners, never be put off by the jargon. Yeah. Watch Sewing Street, email in a question, go on YouTube. Yeah, you, you can know, Google anything, can't you, nowadays? Yeah. Demystified, like that. I use under stitching all the time now. Now, Jane's messaged in to say this bag would be a brilliant make for Easter for her granddaughter. Mm -hmm. Easter egg hunt. Yeah. For the egg hunt, yeah. This is my bag. This is my bag for my eggs. Eggs go in, secure, carry it to my next, find another egg. I might have to use bigger than fat quarters for my bag. So you could size it. <laughs> you could, if, if you wanted a bigger bag, you could. <laughs> go could large. I make like a sack, like a you six could. foot deep sack? <laughs> you could use extra wide backing and get in it, couldn't you? <laughs> hey, I like where this is going, Amanda. 
Yeah, you could. Uh, it, it is essentially idea, a square, thanks. so um, it, it should work. You know, you can uh, make it whatever size. Cute as a button. And, you know, if you're into, and I certainly am, like swapping out the throwaway wrapping paper mm -hmm. yeah. for making Reusable, it something like, yeah. giftable bag, something lovely in there. And then that bag, no one's going to throw that bag away. Everyone's going to reuse that bag for, you know, hair accessories, don't say anything, um, or makeup, or, yeah. you know, sweeties, yeah. or whatever. Your Clover Wonder Clips, yeah. your friction pens, multi-use. But yeah, you could give a little gift in that and then just keep yeah. reusing that bag. It's gorgeous. Yep, Jane, you'd messaged in. Sorry, it's in front of me now. The bag would be perfect for your granddaughter for Easter. Totally agree. It's a great idea. So you sew on both lines, three quarters yes, of an inch yeah. and then a further half an inch from there. From there, yeah. Do you, when you're doing that sewing, Jane, stitch length, oh, sorry, Jane, I've got Jane on the brain mm -hmm. after that message. Sorry, Amanda. Um, stitch length wise. So I'm on three and a half. You're still on, still your on top three and, stitch. and a half. Yeah, yeah. perfect. Um, yeah, and I was—I would just pick a nice thread. It, it's not particularly uh, pretty to look at in the the utility thread, but um, okay. So now we're going to fold, and obviously you would clip your threads and just take more time. Fold across that centre line. Yep. And those little sort of folded triangles that you folded down are inside. They're inside. Yeah. So the, the, this should be completely flat. Yeah. Yeah, on the back. all inside, all your all your bits inside, and then good safely <laughs> gathered in harvest festival, yeah. and then try as best you can to match up. It, it's not <laughs> hugely important, but it, it just looks nicer if your Absolutely. stitch lines match up. Now, suddenly I've had a little light bulb moment. Let me show you. Let me show you while Amanda's just pinning that. When I, because I'm typical sewer, I have to have a look inside as well and see how it's made and try and work it out. So I was looking and I said, look at the inside, can you see this? And I said to Amanda, oh, do you use a French seam? And Amanda said, no, it's within the technique that you've got this neatened inner seam. Can you see that it looks like a French seam? And it'll make sense when I do the demo. And the, now the, the pen seams, is dropped. Yeah. Now the pen is dropped. Yeah. Now, the only thing I would Eventually, say... Eventually, we got there. I've not gone, got one with me today, but... What do you need? That is um, a little bit bulky. Uh, a A hopper, jumper, doobry. A what? You know, when you... Um, <laughs> actually, I might be able to do it with a ruler. Let's just see. If oh, it, I know what like you mean. A yep, compensation, we'll height compensation. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Bless. <laughs> yeah, no, not a problem. These are that bit of plastic you get with your sewing machine that you don't know what to do with. Yeah. <laughs> If you may. Don't worry, I can. Um... No, don't I've worry, I'll, I'll try the ruler. Oh, if sorry. not, I'll force it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's. So, yeah, this, this bit can now just be a little bit tricky just, just because the back of the, press of up, of the, um, the layers of fabric that we've got, but hopefully. Uh, and I'm still on 3.5, so I'm reducing back down now to two and a half. Mm -hmm. So once you've passed that casing stage, it's fine. And this is what looks like a French seam. On the inside. So you've yeah. got perfectly neat seams. Yeah. It's so clever. It's so clever. Details on screen, by the way, are for the Liberty version of Amanda's um, pyramid pattern weights and storage bag. There are two other versions available. Now, the, um, the blue version, this sold out very, very quickly. Um, with a few of the Liberty, blue and yellow, just four of those left. Now there are two other options. Let me just show you very quickly while Amanda does that final side seam. 
We've got the other Bonnie and Camille. This was the one you said you'd pick to do now, isn't it? I the haven't reds. Seen it. Yeah, I think it's lovely. These are absolutely gorgeous. You've got a lovely floral. There's just nine of these left. I mean, they would look so lovely. I think I'd be inclined to use that for the lining side, and maybe you could put those together, or maybe that together would be lovely. You could go those, and then pattern weights or bag pattern weights, you know, mix and match, but they are really lovely. Remember, you can make 24 pattern weights from two fat quarters and then your bag from the other fat quarter. And because you're cutting out a square, don't forget, you will have a little, little strip of those two fat quarters left over to go in the quilt basket for something else. Plus, of course, absolutely essential, Amanda's fab pattern. Now. Okay, uh, I'm, yeah, I'm just conscious of time. So it's sewn um, the side seams. What we're going to do now is open the bag, still keeping it inside out, open the bag and match the, the side seam with that sewn centre seam. Oh, right, gotcha, gotcha. And we're just going to do the, um, you know, the paper bag mm -hmm. bottom. Um, I won't do this bit because I'll, I'll just turn it inside out and, and show you what it so looks you would like. So straight across so, the yeah, corner. So yeah, I would measure one and a half from the tip, and then just uh, chalk a line, sew across, and yeah. then just do that on the other side, and that then gives you your nice um, gives you box, that square base, sort of like a, a gusseted. Yep. Base. If I show you that at home, can you see there? So that's your little boxed corner. I mean, we use this a lot, don't we, on things like tote bags or little bags that we make. So you've got a little boxed corner there. There it is. Just matching up that side seam with that center line of stitching. You can just about see there. So that's why. So that creates our base. Yeah, so if, imagine that we've sewn those corners and that's our base and it's turned right sides out now yep and so now we just need to put that uh, cord through is the time to do that or are we how are we doing time Wes? yes yeah, yeah sure. go on the producer says go on it's got absolutely nothing to do with me amanda <laughs> but i'd have you stay for the next 24 hours i have got a packed lunch <laughs> <laughs> well, well there you go back, then back of, lock the doors <laughs> Lock the doors. We'll make tea or coffee. <laughs> <laughs> right. So I think we'd um, all be happy to keep you here all day, wouldn't we? We've got uh, one inch strips. So this is, I'll, perhaps I'll just do one just to give you an idea. But we, what we would do is um, just join those as though, you know, sort of when you're doing your, um, your binding. Okay. Just mitre. So just sew across that corner. Yep. And then join it just to make one long length. Just so, so it sort of distributes the bulk. Yeah. So if we imagine we've done that, you're then just going to, very similar to binding, fold it in half. Now, are these exactly the, the same technique that you use for the little pattern weight They are. Loops? So, yes, you'll use this. I've actually made... Same size? Yes. This, yeah. Um, Cute, aren't they? So Look that's it when it's finished. And then I've just edge stitched. Actually, it might be quicker just to use the, the techniques the same, whether you're making the long one mm -hmm. or the um, But you were saying you could one. substitute fine cord. You yeah, could if you've got a one quarter wide ribbon mm -hmm. or a pretty cord, something like that. Um, I think th the worst thing is, is perhaps just uh, the heat on your fingers. Um, so, yeah, sorry, I've pressed in half, yep. opened that fold out, and then I'm going to press each side into that fold. So it does get quite skinny when we've Oh, it looks lovely, finished. though. I think it is a nice um, finish. It's like those little finishes. That's why I like children's clothing so yeah, much. Yeah, delicate. Because it's delicate. Yeah. It's, it's smaller scale, yeah. isn't it? And it just looks beautiful. Yeah. So when that's pressed, we then just fold it back on that original fold. That's hard. Ooh. 
tell you what, we need someone to invent a spray that you can just spray your hands with, that the tips of your fingers so you, don't you can handle it yeah. and they don't there we singe. Go, that's it. Okay. And what we're going to do now is, uh, I'll tell you what I'll do. So this is your um, blind stitch, blind yep. hem foot. Mm -hmm. Just pop that on. Now don't forget to keep going through with all of your kits. Do remember to check out your baskets because there are some options now that are in real danger. All of the patterns now have sold out on their own. Um, everything now, each of our kit options, well, one's already sold out. The Liberty's just got three or four left. The others under 10, five, oh, five of the other two. So almost all gone. So be quick, won't you? Check out your basket. So I've got the open fold against the, the little black guide on the uh, blind hem foot. Yep. I've moved my uh, needle over to the left so that I'm hopefully... So nice, and that keeps that fairly constant. Right. Say again, sorry. I've just sewn right across the Oh, okay, to the edge. yeah. Oh, wow, that okay. is amazing. Now, that, was yeah. that using the blind hem? That's just using the blind hem. So it's your standard blind hem foot. Yeah. On this machine, which is the F Experience 560, yeah. I've just changed it to stitch number 03. Right. Which shunts the needle across to the left. That's impressive. Um, That's so neat uh, along the edge. You can whiz through. I th try think that. the... the trickiest bit is um, not burning your fingers with the uh, the iron. Yeah, burning fingers. Yeah. Bad so idea. Don't do it. Imagine you've got a huge length. Yep. You're going to post, uh, and, and with a, a safety pin as well probably, post that all the way through and back to that side, knot them, and then it's nice to, I don't know if these will trim, but it's nice to snip on a, a slant. Oh yeah. And then if you've got some um, seam sealant, just dip the ends a in the seams. Fray check, that kind Fray of check. Or there's, there's something that's more rubbery, plasticky, right, okay. and that gives um, a really nice. Oh. I've got it on the edge of that. Oh, yeah, that's neat. I don't know if you can see. It just gives like a clear glue. Um, I have that resorted will stop to clear nail polish before yeah, now. Yeah, that would work. Yeah. 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 We um, will have to speak to the buying yeah. department. Uh, and then. Well, I'll see if I can get an appointment yeah. and then climb the lofty ladder <laughs> and see if we can get that. That looks like a great So, So, um, super fast um, whiz through of the pattern weights. So, a rectangle, press a crease in the middle, take your hanging loop. Yep. Put that up against that fold. So it's a tiny bit fiddly. You want the uh, the cut short edges against the top, the length of the tag against the fold. Yeah. Turn that over. Pop a pin in. And we're going to sew a quarter inch across the top. Yep. Yeah. And across the side, okay. but we're leaving that bottom end open. Open, yeah. Shall I do that? Or, yes, yes, please. Yeah. Yes, please. Um, and I'm just back on two and a half now, just mm -hmm. and then back stitch, obviously, at the um start and, and uh, end. Yeah. Now don't forget if you've got any questions that are sewing machine related do get them in for the final hour and we will start a little bit late because I think it's important to let Amanda you know show us every element as much as possible Sorry. but um, in that last hour any questions you've got about sewing machines um, that we can answer we will do our absolute best and if there's anything you want to see do message us okay so there's the you can see the the hanging loop i've gone across and down mm -hmm. i'm then going to open it up 
make sure that that hanging loop is tucked up inside and you're going to align the crease that you've made with the seam. Got doesn't, it doesn't really matter if the seam's open or closed um, and you're going to, so just literally a half inch either side. It's and just quite, to leave a gap in the middle. Just leave a turning gap in the middle. So I remember you saying at the start of the hour that there were one or two parts of this were just a little bit sort of smaller, a bit more fiddly, and these are the ones it's, just if you're brand new, just practice yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I mean, it's not tricky, it's just um, intricate, I suppose. Yeah, it's, it's just, just getting yeah. the finesse, isn't it? Yeah. But yeah, like you said, make one in scrap fabric first, mm. and when you're mm. happy with your finish, Go on to your best fabric. They are a little bit like um, juggling. They are, yeah. I yeah. can't actually juggle, but I can throw two pad weights up in the air at the same time. <laughs> I mean, come on. Where's my round of applause? And then come to on. <laughs> to turn it inside out, just grab the um, hanging loop. Uh huh. You don't really need to be too concerned about pushing the corners out because all the filling uh, poly pellet things are going to um, to do that for you. Mm -hmm. And then You've done funnel this before. <laughs> Hello, a plastic funnel. funnel. We don't sell them, but you know, supermarket. Yeah. But it really does. Um, make it so much tidier. Worth their weight in gold, yeah. aren't they? And then just You've even got a little spoon. Is your sewing room really beautifully organised and just gorgeous? It's nicely decorated, but it's a tip. Is it? It is at the moment. You know when I you've been love doing you even more now. You know when you've been doing projects yeah. and you just do them and then oh, you think, yeah. I'll tidy up later. Oh yeah. Actually perhaps I'll put too many in there. Those pellets have sold out. We do. We will get them back in stock, though. So if you need more, we'll get them back in stock. Yeah, so there we go. Trail, but yeah, that that yeah. takes a while. Yeah. So then, once it's filled, you just obviously all these corners will pop out. Then uh, just slip stitch that gap shut. So that's a little job to do by hand. Fab. Yeah. And there they are. Boom, boom. They are. I was thinking sewing triangles together, but it's just you a can. Um, I was I was playing around to be honest. Some of those are triangles, oh, are they? but I found that this oh, was yeah, yeah. Um, you, you got a neater point at the top. Yeah. Um, yeah. Using the the rectangle method. Yeah, absolutely. Fab, absolutely brilliant. Right. Amanda has been amazing. The tips have been Thank incredible. You. The designs are great. I mean, just Thank wonderful. You. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Please come back me. very soon. Yeah. Uh, 20th of Feb. 20th of Feb? Yes. Hey, so that yeah. is soon. It is. <laughs> Elna 680 Pluses will be winging their way to customers at that point. Is that oh, yeah. Yes. Wonderful to have you, you here today. And thank you for staying on a few minutes extra to finish off. We'll see you very soon. Yeah. Safe journey home. Thanks, thank you. Thank you. Really enjoyed this morning. Thank you. Amanda Little, everyone. Fab. Now we're going to go to a very, very quick break. And then when we come back, we'll be looking at sewing machines. See you in a moment. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Do you love sewing? Are you creative, inspiring and love to share your skills and tips with others? We're excited to announce Sewing Street Search for a Star 2022. 
We're looking for talented sewists of all genres. Dressmaking, quilting, homewares, and needlecraft to join the Sewing Street family and share their sewing wisdom with our viewers. Live on air. To enter to become our next guest designer, all you have to do is send us a video submission of you introducing yourself and a brief demonstration of some sewing. Send your video to studio at sewingstreet.com with the subject, search for a sewing star. If you have any issues, email us and director Elliot will be sure to help. Please keep your videos under three minutes in length and in landscape. For more information, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Good, Good luck. luck. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Hi, I'm Claire from Native Lighting. I set up Native Lighting 18 months ago when I realised there was a real lack of craft lights in the market that were high quality, affordable and modern. Not only do Native Lighting lamps give you the perfect lighting for your craft, but they also look amazing in your home as well. I started to train as a florist when I was much younger and it made me realise how you need the light on all the different colours when you're trying to match the colours with the flowers and that's what's really important with your crafting as well. I've been in the lighting industry for 10 years and worked in many different sectors but my heart always lies with crafting. I think that also comes from my time of training as a florist when I just used to love working with all the flowers and the colours and how different they could look in different colours of light. My top advice would be when you're thinking about buying a light, you need to think about where you're actually going to be doing your work. We've got lots of different types of lamps. We've got floor lamps, we've got magnifiers, we've got portable lamps, and we've got desk lamps. If you're sitting in a sofa or a chair, I'd suggest that you use one of our floor lamps. If you're working with intricate details, then have a look at one of our magnifiers. We've got three different types here. We've got our seven inch one, we've got our four and a half inch one, and then we've got a desk version here as well. All of those magnifiers have all three different color settings, including the really important daylight for your color matching. And they've all got brightness settings on them as well. If you work with a sewing machine, our Lumina lamps are absolutely amazing because you can bend and wrap them around the sewing machine, which is brilliant for when you're working on a sewing machine and you can get that light exactly where you need it. If you do Facebook Lives or you like to um, do video tutorials for people or you're doing teaching online, then our ring light is amazing for that because you can obviously use that, put your mobile phone in there and also that we've got a remote control which will operate that for you. You may have a cutting table or a wide area that you need to light up. Then I suggest you go with our, our task lamp here which gives you a really wide spread of light. If you're on the move, when you're working, then we've got a selection here of portable lamps. We've got our reverse lamp, our zigzag lamp, and our LED desk lamp. These are rechargeable, so it means that you can charge them up and then you can take them with you and you've still got light when you're on the move. Hello friends, welcome back to the last hour of Sewing Street on this Thursday. Um, it is a so much brighter, better day, isn't it? I don't know about you, but I'm feeling springy and fresher and more motivated. It is definitely a kind of temperature-like thing, isn't it? It gets me thinking about sort of all the new things I want to do. Um, much more in the mood for making plans when the weather's just that bit brighter. Now, I know that one of the ways that we want to move our sewing on is to be able to tackle more projects, be able to do things which have sort of held us back in the past. 
I've had a month of new year, new hobby. We're getting our teeth stuck into those things and we start to find out exactly what we need in the tools that we've got. And I think the most fundamental tool beyond actually being able to cut fabric out is the ability to sew it back together again. And it's that sewing machine that so much, 90% of what I do, I think, pivots on my sewing machine. And, and, I, and the way I know that, how important it is to me, is if I'm ever without my sewing machine because it's being serviced or because it's kind of either not there or there's an issue. Do you know what I mean? And that's when I realised just how fundamental to what I do my sewing machine is. And when you've got a really good sewing machine that performs well across the board, um, it's a fabulous all-rounder, it just makes everything fall into place it makes everything a joy and that's what's so important about having a good sewing machine now our number one favorite sewing machine here at sewing street not just amongst the presenters although john scott has the 680 plus i have the 680 i've yet to upgrade to the plus but i'm thinking about it believe me um and also you know so many of you have the 680 plus and we love it um we're absolutely thrilled to say that we've now got the Elna 680 Plus available for pre-order. Now, um, that's just happened today. It actually happened while we were live on air at about 10 past eight this morning. The Elna 680 Plus has been completely out of stock for months. Um, we've now got it available for pre-order. Now, the machines, you can pre-order today and the machine will then be sent out from Elna mid-February. Now, we've never done this before. We've never um, put a pre-order in place. But we know that so many of you have been waiting to buy the Elna 680 Plus. And actually, we did not want to wait until mid-February to say, look, we've got it in stock. Because if you're ready um, to put your name down on a machine, we, we need to help you to do that. So, so as soon as we knew we'd got the, we could get them, um, we wanted to make sure that they were available for you to pre-order. So, pre-order today. Uh, you can choose a split pay option if you'd like. Uh, £249.80 would be your first split pay. You make five of those split pays. Um, and, but, you know, you don't have to take advantage of that if you don't want to. Mid-February, uh, you'll get your machine sent out, but also you're going to get a 50 pounds credit to spend at Sewing Street in March. 50 pounds to spend on whatever you like. So if you want some fabric, patterns, pins, needles, thread, put it towards something, maybe a new fabric collection. Why not get yourself a 50, 50 pound off? Um, by using your £50 credit. And that's just us saying thank you for pre-ordering the Elna 680 Plus. Okay, and it doesn't matter whether you take the split pay option or not. But we know, you know, January is an expensive month and it's a long month. Um, so, you know, we've got those five split pays. We don't charge any interest on that. You pay exactly the same amount as if you pay one whole amount, one payment. Um, but it's there as an option if you'd like to take it. Now, the Elna 680 Plus, as I say, is our number one most favourite machine here amongst us as presenters, guests that come on air, and also we know you love it at home too. And there are so many great reviews for the 680 Plus. Uh, it's a terrific machine. We're super, super excited to have got the machine available now for pre-order. Super excited. Pauline left a great review from County Durham. Wow! It's an amazing machine. I love it and all the features. It's so much quieter and sturdier than my other machine. You know, it's a question I often get asked. Thanks, Pauline, for that, by the way. Love it when people are motivated to leave a review. Um, and especially, you know, well, whatever the kind of review. We're often more motivated, though, aren't we, to, to say something negative about something. But when you're motivated to leave a positive review, you know that someone's been really impressed by something, don't you? You know, if you read a good review for a restaurant, say, um, you know that someone's been really motivated. Uh, I'm often asked, why would I upgrade 
for example. If I've currently got my, you know, my basic machine that does a straight stitch and a zigzag, why do I upgrade? What's the difference? Um, and there are some really sort of fundamental differences between the Elna 680 Plus that mean it's a machine that we might want to consider buying. One of them is that the um, sort of, if you like, the, the heaviness of the build. You know, as machines get more expensive, they tend to get heavier. This is a really weighty machine. It's, your stem is still transportable, but it means that when it's on your table, when you're sewing at top speeds, up to a thousand stitches per minute, your machine isn't going to rattle around on the table or move. It's not going to vibrate. It's going to stay sturdy and strong. Okay, so you've got that sturdiness of build. You're also going to have, I love, I must, uh, let me just show you this. I love this about Elmer's. Um, if you ever get, well, for cleaning, you don't have to start unscrewing anything, okay? This just flips open so you can get into to dust. But also, if you ever get like a sort of thread caught up, you can get easily into your machine. You can see the threading path. You can remove, you know, sometimes if you like the thread breaks or something like that, you might have a little bit of thread left in the machine. It's so easy to then keep your machine clean and working in perfect order. Absolutely brilliant feature on the Elna. Um, you've also got things like the range of feet and the range of stitches that you've got on a machine. So on this machine, you've got 170 stitches to play around with, including two alphabets. Now, those stitches, you're going to have all of your utility stitches. So, for example, straight stitches in different positions, including those with reinforcement okay you're also going to have things like your over edge oh excuse me <coughs> excuse me you're also going to have your over edge stitching functions so whether you want to uh, neaten the edges on woven cotton thick wool uh, chiffon stretchy fabric jersey t-shirt material knit, knitted fabrics you've got all the different utility stitches there to cope you've got 10 different buttonholes um, so whether you're doing vertical or horizontal keyhole or rectangular uh, stretch buttonhole or a non-stretch buttonhole there is a difference you've got them all on your machine button sewing function eyelets blanket stitches of various kinds blind hem stitch nine millimeter stitch width yes please that's particularly important with some of those decorative stitches and alphabets as well 91 variable needle positions that just gives you an idea of the scope of the embroidery stitches that they're going through uh, that many different positions too uh, numbers of course um, punctuation great for personalizing um, and then you've also got lots of decorative stitches. So you've got a range of satin stitch designs. You've also got a range of heirloom stitches. So for things like um, faggoting and also for things like um, machine smock stitching. Also for things like if you like to do crazy patchwork and want to embellish your seams, you can use the embroidery stitches as well. So a huge amount of functionality. But for me, one of the most exciting things about this machine are the feet that you get with it. They open up a gazillion possibilities. You've got your utility foot, of course, that you're going to use for the majority of your straight stitching, zigzag, utility stitching. That comes on the machine. Then you've also got two handy. Now, it took me a little while to realise this was here on my machine. <laughs> but because I'm so used to going in this front accessory box. Let me just. There we go. So used to going in there. Some of your feet are in there. Bobbins in there. And of course, you've also got you can take that out. Um, this is where I keep my sweeties. But you might well keep things like your buttonhole foot. Don't be alarmed by this contraption, by the way. It clips on like any other foot. Isn't that clean and tidy? Well, it has to be, otherwise my smarties get mucky. <laughs> but also, of course, this slides off <laughs> and you've got your free arm. 
So if you're doing things like sewing bags, um, sleeves, trousers, cuffs, hems, things like that, you might well use uh, that, your free arm. You can drop your feed dogs for free motion quilting. So you have a little switch here at the side. If you push that, your feed dogs will retract and those are now retracted. If I just drop that foot off so you can see, this is now a flat surface, okay? Now, if I re-engage the feed dogs, I've done it now, nothing happens until you take that first stitch. You can either do that by, you know, with the foot pedal or you can just turn the um, wheel at the side and those feed dogs are now re-engaged. Watch again, they've dropped, re-engaged, take a stitch and they pop back up again. So don't forget, if you ever start sewing, if you've been doing free motion quilting and you put your machine away, we've all done it, and then you come back to sew and nothing's feeding, check that switch at the side. I know a lot of machines have a button round the back. So for example, if you've been sewing on something like an, a brother, for example, you might be used to the button around the back. On the Elna, it's at the side. It might just take you a moment to get used to that, but you know, it's, it's great. Um, another thing you get with this machine is you get a straight stitch plate, okay? Now, what's super exciting about the straight stitch plate that you get with the Elna 680 Plus is that um, changing over the plates is super easy and then also when you put your straight stitch plate in okay um, I don't know if you can see if I hold this here can you see that there is just a little round hole right in the center yeah let me just turn that hole right there in the middle that's what your needle goes through for a straight stitch. Now on the normal standard plate for your machine, that is like a wide slot, a nine millimeter wide slot. And that's what allows the needle to swing from side to side to do things like a zigzag and so on, all those decorative stitches. But this is set up just to do a straight stitch with that hole. Now, with every other machine I've ever used, including the Elna 680, not plus, there's a danger when you use the straight. The, the benefits are that you can do the most perfect straight stitch. Your machine never gobbles up the fabric. It's just absolutely gorgeous. If you accidentally leave the straight stitch plate on your machine and then choose something like a zigzag, your machine will just go to do a zigzag and the very first stitch you take, the needle hits the metal, bang. You know, it'll certainly break your needle. You can break your timing on your machine. As soon as you put, on the new 680 Plus, as soon as you put that straight stitch plate into your machine, your machine knows that you've got the straight stitch plate in it. It will now not sew any stitch that would break the needle. It will only stitch stitches which will work with that straight stitch plate. And I think that's absolutely brilliant. If I can just turn this around and I'm just going to show you up here in this top corner, there is a little red box with some stitches in it. And these are our straight stitch plate stitches. You don't need to tell your machine. Your machine knows when you put the straight stitch plate in, it knows and it will only stitch can you see it also includes that quarter inch patchwork? Try it, try it with your patchwork. If you've had problems with the machine gobbling up your fabric, try your straight stitch plate with your patchwork stitch and just see the difference. That's one of the unique features of the 680 Plus. It's a small thing on paper, massive if you're making a quilt with 475 half square triangles. Brilliant, brilliant machine. Don't let the computerization element, by the way, put you off. Um, it's a really simple and straightforward machine to use. And the way I look at it is that the fact that my sewing machine has a computer means that there's an intelligence 
in my machine that's helping me out as I'm sewing. For, so for example, when I turn the machine on and I choose a stitch, and it's as simple as up and down, alpha, you know, numerical tens and units, easy peasy. Um, my machine will actually tell me what foot I need to choose from the range in order to work that stitch. I don't have to look in a manual. I might see that I need foot A. Foot A has an A debossed into the metal so that I can see exactly which foot that is. And that's the same on every single foot. Even down to things like your darning foot free motion stitching, that's also got the sort of code, if you like, debossed on the side of the foot. So it's absolutely superb. It's, it just adds that intelligence to your work. And also if there should be a fault, like for example, um, if you try sewing with the presser foot up, we've all done that, um, your machine will beep, it won't sew. That's because of the computer. If it was a manual sewing machine, it would just start sewing and it looks fine from the top and then you turn your work over and you've got sort of shag pile carpet on the back. Not a good look. Um, that won't happen with this machine. Now, lots of these machines I've been going into baskets today. I know it's a really considered purchase, um, but I really want you to think carefully about what this machine could do for your sewing. What do you want from a sewing machine? Do you want a sewing machine which is robust, sturdy, strong, intelligent? Do you want a two year warranty? Is it essential that your sewing machine has a walking foot, a darning foot, with not one but three different options for the feet, open, closed, bullseye? Is it important to you that your sewing machine can take you from dressmaking, any kind of fabric, over edge stitching, any kind of fabric, to dressmaking, to home decor, to patchwork and quilting. Is it important to you that you've got enough throat space that you can quilt a large quilt comfortably? Do you like good lighting when you're sewing? This has got great bright lighting. Do you need a, a, a knee lift? Now, Delphine, <laughs> I know I can say this because we were talking about this, didn't know she needed a knee lift until she used one. Now, can't be without it can't be without it. And that's the difference sometimes. Some, sometimes we know exactly what we want. Sometimes we need to just have it given to us and it's like, okay, now I always need that. We had a lovely message earlier on from a lady who, had, who hadn't used a walking foot, didn't really know why she should have one. And then she got a machine that had one and now, oh my goodness, she uses it for everything. Go on the fans page, talk to each other as well. Do your own research, look at reviews, look at YouTube videos, see the ease of use. Now we've just been onto the Elna website for this machine. There's a brochure section um, which compares things like the 580, the 680, the 730, 720 and 780. You can see those comparisons. We'll show you the slide that you can have a look at. It's quite small text by the way. Uh, there we go. I have to walk right up to the TV screen. <laughs> you can see there the bed type, the machine weight. You can see the sewing space, needle threading. You can compare the features. So if there are particular things that are really important to you, like what's the lighting like, um, you can have a look at that sort of compare and contrast and, um, you know, really make sure that the machine works for you. The other thing I always recommend is to download the manual. Um, don't take a minute or two. Have a read through. See whether it's got all the features that you want. Um, but what I love about this is the comprehensive foot package, stitch package. And also, we haven't mentioned, you get a massive, really, really good, useful extension table as well. So often with sewing machines, you're going to have to buy that as an extra and you can easily pay £25, £30 for an extension table or more 
Um, this comes complete with one. I really don't think you need to buy anything else. You'll get £50 into your account for Sewing Street to spend in March, but you can just spend that on fabric, thread, patterns, whatever you like. Now, congratulations to every single one of you who have pre-ordered your Elna 680 Plus today. Lots of you have. Now, one quick bit of advice that I want to give to you whenever you're buying a sewing machine, we do on, on the um, Sewing Street website, we do offer a quick delivery service, which you can pay an extra £2 for. Please don't pick that option when you're buying a sewing machine. For the simple reason, with any sewing machine, we're not delivering it. It's coming straight from Elna and they deliver it promptly but they don't have a speedier delivery than one they have one delivery service and um, so we don't want you to waste even two pounds um, so don't pick that option and of course with the Elna 680 plus is on a pre-order it will go out the middle of Feb now all of the machines on this table are currently in stock at Elna. These would be for immediate dispatch, okay? So as soon as the order comes in, that will go through to Elna. And while we're here, I'm going to talk you through sort of price increases which are going to happen because I think this is important information. And, you know, we like to be transparent and upfront about what's happening. So we're going to start with Delphine's machine, as we've renamed it. Oh, I'm sorry. That's this one here, isn't it? Are we starting with this one, Delphine's? Sorry. Delphine, this is the 720, 720 Pro. This is the machine that Delphine Brooks has just treated herself to. Now this one is currently 1,699 pounds. Now on the 1st of February, that's going to go up to £1,799, so a price increase of £100. Now, that's still a very competitive price and we think will still be the most competitive price. We struggled to find this machine available anywhere else, to be honest with you, but certainly we are still going to be very, very competitive on price, but we have resisted the tide for as long as we can and we can resist no longer. First of Feb, this will go up to £1,799. At the moment, you can get it for £1,699. Okay, but that's literally up until the 1st of Feb. It's available for immediate delivery. Delphine is, I think it's fair to say, in love with hers. She is certainly fallen in love with the knee lift and I totally get that. I couldn't use a sewing machine now for any length of time uh, without a knee lift. Now, Delphine did do a whole demonstration. We'll try and find the date for that. It's everything that Delphine's discovered so far on the machine. <laughs> She's still got, we'll have to do that quite regularly because she'll discover all sorts of new things. Now, one of the things you can do on this machine that Delphine adores is the fact that you can wind a bobbin while you're still sewing. <laughs> That's amazing, isn't it? Absolutely amazing. Uh, just a terrific machine. Just little thread towers there. So you can use really much bigger spools of thread. It's got a very different look. This is from their Pro range. So this has got more of a kind of industrial feel to it. Um, this is definitely something you've got a much bigger throat space. If I just remove this for now, a much bigger throat space on this machine. So if you're looking for a machine like even any sort of domestic sewing machine, this space is too small for you and you want something bigger, start looking at these pro machines because they do have a much bigger throat space. They also, just the space around the needle is kind of clearer and more open, um, which is can be a real advantage um, if you're doing a lot of like heavy duty sewing I think it's fair to say you can go through really multiple very thick layers with this machine and it doesn't miss a stitch now if you want to look back at that day when Delphine demonstrated it's the 20th of January in the 12 o'clock hour you can re-watch that on YouTube and see all the things that Delphine discovered. 
got some technical feature slides for you. Don't forget right now, you get this at £1,699. It will go up by £100 on the 1st of Feb. Let's look at some of the technical specs. So 200 stitches, including nine buttonholes, a wide sewing space, 255 by 120 millimetres, a flatbed. Now there's no free arm on this, but if you're sewing things like bags, um, hemming trousers, anything like that, it's perfectly easy to do it. You just have the sort of circle up rather than down. Delphine demoed that in that hour, so do look at the 20th of Jan. You've got an LCD screen and LED lights, independent bobbin winder. So keep sewing, wind a bobbin, switch them round, keep going. I like the sound of that. An extra high presser foot position for going through multiple very thick layers. A one-step needle plate converter. Upper feed system by Elmer. An extension table. The extension table is absolutely huge. Um, I don't have it here to show you, but it is absolutely huge. There it is. There it is. That is absolutely amazing if you're doing things like quilting a quilt, making large things like curtains, blinds, big um, dressmaking projects as well. To be honest with you, most of the time my extension table stays on and doesn't really come off. Now, uh, 200 stitches, nine buttonholes, three typefaces, three alphabets, European, Russian and Japanese. Uh, capital letters and numbers available up to nine mil high. Maximum number of stitches in a pattern combination is 50. So, you know, um, put into your memory first name, space, middle name, space, last name, up to 50 characters, including those spaces, and then just stitch repeat. Uh, you've got favourite stitch adjustments that you can save. So if there's a particular like buttonhole stitch that you always use for a plique, particular setting, you can save that and then you're not having to set it up every time. That's superb. Uh, maximum stitch width of 9mm, maximum stitch length of 5mm, and look at that maximum sewing speed, 1,000. 200 stitches per minute. That's incredible. That is incredible. How many stitches is that a second? I know it's maths, isn't it? I should be able to do that easily, but I'm, I can't. Um, 1,200 divided by 60. <laughs> Honestly. You get a massive, massive collection of feet, but look, this is lovely. You get a box, this is for your feet, this is amazing. So, you get a box of feet, please excuse the mess. But we use these machines ever such a lot. You've got a feet, so you've got things like your walking foot. It does look different because this actually sort of clips on to your machine, but you've got your walking foot, you've got darning foot with interchangeable feet that go on to it to change it out. Uh, you've got all your utility feet for your other kinds of stitching as well. Uh, I mean, there's so much. We've got a slide to show you. I also absolutely love the large foot pedal, so you can actually put both feet on that. Look at all those extras that you get included. It's amazing, absolutely amazing. Now, the reason why we're doing the show today is simply because we are just a few days away from the 1st of April. The uh, 1st of April, listen to me, 1st of February. Um, and prices will go up on the 1st of February. It's been inevitable and we've resisted putting prices up for as long as we possibly could, but it is inevitable. And actually, I think a lot of sewing machine shops will be putting their prices up by considerably more than we will be. We've tried to keep the increases as low as possible, um, but we can't not increase the prices. We wanted to let you know. And we also wanted to give you just that last little window of opportunity uh, to buy them at the original price. Now, Lorraine's got in touch with in Kent. I bought an Elna 570A. Do all the machines take the same walking foot? Love the show, thank you, Lorraine. No, Lorraine, they don't, no. So, um, they're not interchangeable. So, for example, for the 720, that is absolutely unique to the 720. Category D machine, the 720 
is a BC category. So if your machine is within the same category, um, then they will interchange. It's all to do with the type of shank, the height, high or low shank. Um, and if you're ever in any doubt, just ring the Elna helpline, tell them the machine model that you've got, and they can tell you whether it's a high shank, low shank, and then you'll be able to access other feet. Another question. Does the 680 Plus have an automatic presser foot raise, useful for when you're doing a plique? The 680 Plus doesn't have an automatic presser raise, but what it does have is that knee lift. And that's, and I totally agree with you, being able to do hands-free lifting and lowering of the presser foot is a game changing and free motion quilting and, and walking foot quilting. Good afternoon, Stuart. Great show. Lovely machines. I think I'm being a bit dumb. What is a knee lifter? Not being dumb at all, Marilyn. It's a fantastic question. It's a fantastic question. The reason why we can never show them on air is because we stand up to sew and we're not sitting down and you do need to be sitting down. Um, I don't know how to describe or how to show how it works because I, <laughs> I can't lift the machine up. And what you really need to be able to do is see how it hangs down. Let me just, I'm probably picking the heaviest machine I can possibly, yeah, I really. <laughs> can I go around to the other machine for a minute? Yeah, come around with me for a minute. I want to show you this, Marilyn. I want to show you this. Right. No, it's a brilliant question, actually. Right, so your knee lift fits in here. OK, it slots in there and this bar hangs under the table. OK, so this bar would hang un underneath. Where am I? Where are we? Where are we? <laughs> it would hang under the table like this and it sort of hangs down. Now, when you're sitting, OK, if I just describe this. So this is you're sitting at a normal table. Here's the table top and this is hanging under the table. This edge, this bit here, would sit either against that knee or you can have it against, sorry, no, you have it against that knee, okay. And then what you do is you push away with your knee, okay. And what that does is, back to the machine now, so while your knee is pushed away, that automatically, let's put a presser foot on, that automatically lifts your presser foot up. So you don't have to do any of this with your hand to lift and lower it. You're just pushing away with your knee and your presser foot comes up. You return your knee back into the middle and your presser foot goes down. So you imagine if you're quilting down across and up and you need to lift and lower that presser foot, your hands can stay here. You sew to the end. You don't bother moving your hands, they stay there. You automatically, your knee lift just lifts up with your knee. You turn it around with your hands, back down again, carry on sewing, and you're just using your knee to lift and lower the presser foot. It's absolutely brilliant. If you're appliqueing and you need to keep moving the position of your presser foot to get smoothly around a curve, for example, it's really hard to show when we're standing up. I'm so sorry. If I had a table I could sit at, I could show you this so easily and quickly. But um, they are brilliant. They are brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. And uh, Delphine now is completely sold on hers. Message from Kathleen. I bought this machine in September. Love it. Best machine I've had. And I've been sewing for over 60 years. So many machines. This is the best, Kathy. Thanks for that, Kathy. I think that that is a really, really valid uh, point, isn't it? You've seen, you've seen them all in 60 years. You've seen the progression. You've seen the technology change. We've come a long, long way. I mean, essentially, they're still doing the same thing. They're creating that stitch, but everything around that has moved on and changed so much. And the best machine, fabulous. Question from Christine. Are the Elna bobbins interchangeable with other Elna machines? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. All of the, um, well, we believe so, yeah. Um, one thing that's also machine manufacturers say um, is that you should only ever use the bobbins 
for your make yeah so if for example you've got currently got say a brother machine and then you buy an Elna machine um, if you're not if you're keeping that other machine you need to do something with those bobbins mark them keep them separate whatever don't mix them up because I know for one thing brother bobbins are deeper than other bobbins all other bobbins um, they can be slightly wider slightly bigger slightly deeper um, there's no such thing as a universal bobbin I, you can buy them you can absolutely buy them but I wouldn't ever put a universal bobbin in any of my machines they can void your warranty if you have an issue and it breaks your they can void it with any machine with any manufacturer with all of your uh, Elners that you're buying today, you're getting a two-year manufacturer's warranty, um, which is absolutely fab. The, the standard, the legal requirement is one-year warranty. Um, two years is real confidence, isn't it, in the build of a machine. I'm going to take a step up now to the 780 Plus. Becky Alexander Frost has this machine. Now, currently, this is £2,499. There it is. It is a beautiful machine, isn't it? Um, it looks much more like the sort of traditional sewing machine than the 720. Um, apart from, my goodness me, it's, it's big and it's got this beautiful big screen over here, which you could definitely do with a little clean. Um, now, at the moment, that's uh, £2,499. That price is going to go up to £2,789. So the price is going to go up by £289 on the 1st of February. That is our biggest price increase. We'll still be very competitive with that, but if you've been waiting, thinking about it, this really is your last chance to buy this machine at £2,499. Let's look at the technical features. 350 stitches with a maximum stitch width of 9 mil and stitch length maximum 5 mil, 11 buttonholes, variable zigzag with knee lift control, a tapering function so you can go narrow to wide, or wide to narrow, ruler work mode, a lot of people are getting into ruler work for their quilting, uh, two additional alphabets, Cyrillic and Japanese, capital letters and numbers available in up to 9 mil, maximum sewing speed of 1060 stitches per minute 91 variable needle positions you've got that favorite stitch function to customize and save your stitch settings stitch composer software so you can create your own stitches three megabytes of built-in memory it's a spaceship isn't it <laughs> all the standard feet that are included look at those standard foot rolled hem zipper foot satin stitch open toed embroidery foot blind hem overlock quarter inch quarter inch without uh, quilting guide close toe darning open toe darning free motion quilting closed toe foot free meet free motion quilting open toe foot free motion quilting zigzag foot nice for Machine embroidery, that one actually. Variable zigzag foot, ruler work foot, that's an addition, my goodness. Automatic buttonhole foot, button sewing foot, and a dual feed foot and holder. That's like your walking foot. Now this also has a high performance setting. Now that means different stitch plates. You've got your professional grade quarter inch seam foot, dual feed plus foot, uh, professional grade needle plate, straight stitch needle plate. This is really going into the sort of professional realms, isn't it? So this machine really will benefit. I don't know, has Becky Alexander Frost done a machine show with this machine? It was a little while ago. We'll try and find the date for that if you want to look back. Um, I mean, this machine really deserves a full hour of demonstrations, machine on, actually showing you what it can do. But we really did want to just sort of take this opportunity 
just to let you know of essential price increases. So if you did want to get you know, your order in before the 1st of Feb, then you will get that lower price. And this one, you know, you're saving £289 if you buy it before the 1st of Feb. If you wait till the 1st of Feb, you will pay uh, 2789 Now, this one's in stock, ready to go. If you order it today, it'll be sent for immediate dispatch. This is the machine that our Becky Alexander Frost has. And my goodness me, she makes some beautiful things, doesn't she? Really lovely. Now we've got two other machines from Elna. Oh, Becky's just messaged in actually to say, I can say I love this machine. And yes, I've demoed it twice. <laughs> Thank you, Becky. Thank you, Becky. It's, you know, I mean, the thing is, you know, whatever machine any of us choose to use for our sewing is important. Excuse me a sec. Is important. And it's um, an endorsement, isn't it? 23rd of December, Becky did a demonstration. And there was another one as well. But I mean, 23rd of December will do for me. Thank you. <laughs> we've got two more machines available. This is the Experience 560. Now this is the one that Amanda was using earlier on today. And you saw, you know, this is um, a much lower price point, £579, but still producing beautiful stitch quality, lovely consistent results, a, a great machine. Still got that Elna Janome build still got that fab technology computerized sewing machine i love i tell you what i love about this machine you've got your utility stitches actually on like a sort of a quick access these are the stitches you're going to use most often i should think straight stitch zigzag over edge and a basic buttonhole you've also got over here things like your um tie function for tying off your threads. You've got your needle up, needle down and your thread cutter stitch. Below that, you've got your reverse stitching, you've got your start stop. So you can use this machine without the foot pedal if you'd like to or you need to. And then at the side of the machine, you've got these little pullouts, okay? And these have all of your other stitches let me just pull those out so you can see all of your other stitches uh, that you can use. And then it's as simple to program in as up in tens or down and up. And you can see each time I'm choosing a stitch, it tells stitch 21 needs foot R. The default setting is a width of seven a length of 0 0.4 but of course we can change that stitch length stitch width if we like these are just the default settings now the 5 the 5 4 60 sorry the 560 at currently 579 pounds it's going to go by £40 to £619. Still a really competitive price, don't get me wrong, um, but it will be going up by £40 on the 1st of Feb. Last machine that we're going to mention today is the Elna 550. Now that's currently our under £500 machine. £499 at the moment. That will be going up by £50 on the 1st of February. That will go up to £549. Now, if you want four-way split pay, you can absolutely do that. That's amazing, isn't it? Four uh, split pay is £124.75. And that just may be... Um, allows you to get this before the 1st of February and those price increases. This is going up by £50 um, on the 1st of Feb. 
So those are all the machines that we're going to run through today. If you've got any questions at all that you'd like to ask, get in touch. Um, and we can always answer them tomorrow. I'll be back guesting tomorrow with Vix. Tomorrow is baby day, by the way. Shall we have a look at the menu? Oh, hello, look at those graphics, cute. <laughs> at 8 a.m., bundles of joy. Vix will be here <laughs> with the bundles of joy. Uh, oh, yeah, she's been on holiday. She's going to be all glowing and relaxed and, oh. Good for her. At 9am, we've got Moda Little Ducklings baby quilt set with me. That's adorable. There's a gorgeous baby quilt. There's a teether. There's also um, a, a quilt made from a panel for recording your baby's age and growth, which is adorable. Um, show you all that tomorrow. At 10am, we've got fabrics and soft toys. And then at 11 a.m., it's the little, little what? Little Buddles? Buddles. Little Buddles baby bag with Stuart Hillard. Now, that's actually a bag from Bags for Life that I'm going to show you, um, uh, which is a great bag anyway, but made in lovely baby fabrics. And then at 12, it's Yarn Lane, and we've got baby knits with me. Gorgeous little cardigan, little kind of hoodie, and also some great blankets. Let me just show you very quickly these um, quilts. This is this is the baby, little baby quilt. These are the little ducklings fabrics. There's three different colorways, like a light blue, a soft lemon yellow, and a gray. They're absolutely gorgeous. But also my favorite is this, which is made from a panel. You put the baby in the oval, okay, and then you point with something like a little, I don't know, a little toy or something like that, to the days or weeks or months and take pictures. It's adorable. I'll show you everything tomorrow. Um, make sure you join us, won't you? It's going to be full of little bundles of joy. Check out your baskets. Take care of yourself. I'll see you tomorrow.